we are streaming. Uh, I'm gonna. Why? I'm gonna mute. How do I? How do I normally check this? I'm gonna deafen on my end, and then. Sure. Wait, no, because then I can't hear you guys. Fuck! It's been so long since I've done this. I don't remember how to actually like check shit as it goes. Uh, okay, here. Let's all kind of talk at once. Just sort of babble some shit. Babble, babble, babble. Babble, babble, talking. Okay, now I'm gonna deafen and listen to that and see how it sounds. All talking. Okay, now I'm gonna deafen and listen to that and see how it sounds. All talking. Okay, well I sound fine. Uh, that maybe kind of swell. I wasn't quick enough. Uh, <gasps> Here, sorry. Can you guys can you guys uh do that again? Just you two. Okay. Hopefully that's good. I'm trying to sorry, there's so many tabs. Keep going. You guys like the new stream? Your honor, keep going. Your Honor, keep going. Okay. This game is written. All right. <laughs> that's that's interesting. You guys, it. I don't think I've ever encountered this. You are at the exact same volume for me oh. on my end as you are on the output. <laughs> And hey. it's Yay! like it's like a little too loud and kind of peaky, but in that like, yeah, we're in a Discord call. That's how it sounds, kind of way. And I'm oh. actually okay with that. I'm not editing this into anything, so who gives a shit? Woo! Uh, that's the spirit. All right. Um, I'll make a tweet, and uh, if Siv's around, then he'll be here when we start. And if not. He knows what's up. Round, then did, he'll be I here when we start, away, and so if not, he should be here soon. Okay. Oh, I should advance it because no one ever clicks these things if it's just Ace Attorney Chronicles. The resolve of Ryanosuke Narahodo. That's me. All right. So last time we got some evidence as Shomes and Mikotoba, which is pretty interesting. Uh, oh, and... did we finish that section? Yeah. yeah. What was it? Oh. We got everything. How is it? And then uh, now we're going back to trial with some new evidence. And yeah, that's, that's it. There's nothing else. Did I black out at the end of that stream? I I thought That's we fair. I thought we ended like in the middle of it. We were like, "This is too long. We'll finish it up next time." No, we were just talking about the okay. case at large. We finished it. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I believe you. Hmm. That means we have less to go through than I thought. Great Ace Attorney, this is probably going to be our penultimate session. So now is an awesome time to join if you have no idea what's going on. Put an asterisk on awesome and then right after it, awful. I'm just going to put an asterisk after it and then at the bottom of this tweet, I'll just put like asterisk smiley face. <laughs> Watch it live. I typed that Also, wrong. penultimate means basically the end. For all you kids who don't know what that word means. It means the one before the end. Yep, the last some people, one. Some people think it means the last one. It does not. No, really? It's That's the what the word ultimate the is one. for. <laughs> exactly. And then the one before the one before is the pencil ultimate. Well... They're not all winners. There is a word that means one before penultimate, but I always forget what it is. Like they add another suffix on or a prefix onto it. Okay. My my brain just went, oh, is it just called here it comes? <laughs> that one I, that one image. I love the the innocent comment in chat of just penultimate means the best pen. <laughs> Very yeah. cute. Kasama Asagi. I know you, and I know you wouldn't lie. 
But still, there's no doubt that you're holding something back. You know more than you're saying. I can't believe he's still prosecuting! During the past 30 minutes while this court was adjourned, all possible efforts were expended. Everyone's dead! Mm. Sorry, I'm turning the music down just a little. No, it's fine. But sadly, Mr. Jigoku's whereabouts could not be ascertained. I must accept the unfortunate conclusion that the Reaper has already done the deed. I'm, I am literally right here! <laughs> I failed to mention I have telekinesis. There's no sense in wasting any more of this court's time. The prosecution calls for an immediate verdict. Objection! Shut up. No, <laughs> the trial cannot end now. You're a Japanese man, Ryunosuke. You should know when to lay down your sword. What does that mean? Ah, yes, the Japanese. Historically famous for surrendering in wartime what are you talking about <laughs> looks at my notes oh. uh, <laughs> and you should see it wanted to be racist but then it was like midline it was like wait will's not voicing it we'll just make it kind of weird <laughs> and you should know never to presume when the battle is won the court has already been presented with all the evidence and heard all relevant testimony. Someone in chat goes, no, that's the French. And that reminds me of like one of my favorite stupid Bacano Bridge jokes where um, in like the boat episode where Huey is there, he's like, I choose to remain neutral. And someone's just like, go back to Switzerland. I am from France. And then someone does a surrender joke. And he just goes, actually, France has one of the best battle records in all of European history. And everyone just goes, boo! And they start throwing balls of paper at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy, am I right? And there can only be one conclusion, that the accused is guilty. All relevant testimony? Far from it. There's still a crucial witness from whom the court is yet to hear a single word of testimony. In that case, call your witness to the stand at once, counsel. I can't. I know you are. Big Bird, enter the stand. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> yes, my lord. Tomorrow. If possible. The witness is already on his way and scheduled to arrive tomorrow. Who on earth is this crucial witness? You said it's Big Bird. Seishiro Jigoku. The very man allegedly murdered by the Reaper. Did I miss anything? Judge no. Jigoku? You found him? We're like right at the start. You came in like two lines of dialogue in. Okay. My computer literally took this long to boot up. <laughs> But the investigations of every policing resource in the capital suggest that Jigoku is already dead. No, they, gave they it... didn't find him in 30 minutes. <laughs> Shut up, Strongheart. Who in the name of God did you find the man? I'm genuinely curious about your techniques and would like to adopt them immediately to better our police. He looks like he's not even standing on, like, the ground there. He looks like he's standing on, like, the counter. Maybe he is. He was located in France during the recess, at the port of Dunkirk, thanks to one of Mr. Herlock Sholmes' famous deductions. Herlock Sholmes? Inspector Gregson almost certainly met with Mr. Jigoku on the night of his death, because along with Pro Prosecutor Osagi, Gregson was on a mission, a mission to assassinate the man. <laughs> Which means that Seishiro Jigoku is the sole witness who can clarify exactly what happened on board the SS Grouse on the 31st October. Halloween. It's all just a Halloween costume, yeah. Well, it would appear that it's too soon to move to adjudication at this point. Prosecution concurs. The court must hear Mr. Jigoku's testimony. No judgment should be passed until all testimony has been considered. In that case, I hereby call the end of today's proceedings. Court will reconvene at the same hour tomorrow. No objections from either side? No, no that my lord. No, gives me time to kill people in the meantime. I... No objections, my lord. I am here. <laughs> we live to fight another day by the skin of our teeth. May we go to Swiss Chalet, please? I have oh. been good. Please. All right. See you next week. Chat. All right. Bye, bye guys. Bye. <laughs>
since uh, it would appear I am not going to prison yet, might we participate in shots as friends um, at the tavern? Sure. Kills him with a gun. The unexpected. Cool. They need to be brother. silver. Great. <laughs> The unexpected halt of proceedings sent a clamour around the courtroom, but outside of the bailey, blah, blah, but outside the bailey, where Londoners knew nothing of our secret trial within, it was a typical still night. Then, at a little past eight o'clock that evening, Mr. Sholmes and his partner returned to Baker Street. We forgot Jigoku. We painted you some dinner. Oh. We have returned, my dear fellows. Welcome back to Britain, and thank you for your timely help. No, think nothing of it. I believe you've had an even more weary day than Mikotoba and I know. You could say that. We were on the brink of defeat in court earlier. So, this prosecutor, Asugi, had you on the ropes, did he? And he's your best friend, you say? Apparently. He's not really the man I knew in Japan anymore. Cosima's changed. Oh man, how much money you want to bet that all that food's gonna go flying? Like, it's <laughs> Mm, it looks pretty painted to be exactly just what it is, so I'm gonna say it's not gonna happen. Um, no cell frames here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. To think that he'd even entertain the idea of acting as the Reaper's assassin. Good on. Well, nevertheless, you must introduce me. After all, I've only ever met the young man as a corpse. I kind of wish he stayed that way. <laughs> yeah. When all this started, almost a year ago now. Looks at the camera. <laughs> Mr. Sholmes still hasn't told us the truth about what really happened back then. Yeah, that's how people work in this, this game. About the motivation for what he himself described as the great detective's lie. Well then, I must say, it's really quite a journey all the way to France. Well, it is another country, Mr. Sholmes. So, what news of Judge Jokoku? I wonder how long that, like, I guess it's a day to travel to France and back over the, the channel. Can't yeah. be that far, though, right? Like, it's got to be, like, what, five no. hours? Five hours yeah. to the coast, then a couple hours over, then a couple hours back. Yeah, but it's basically, like, the whole day worth. Yeah, okay. We took him to Scotland Yard. The investigating detectives there have a lot of questions for the man. That's a bad I idea. I don't know why, Father, but I forgot how gruff you were, and when you started speaking, it kind of scared me. <laughs> oh no, my motorcycle, Father! <laughs> I didn't recognize you when you were sleeping and looked exactly like yourself because you weren't purring like a motorbike! Poor Professor Mikotoba. Must, this must be quite a shock for him. I like that I can do a pretty okay just girl voice, but when I'm doing an impression of Suzato, I sound like fucking what's or nuts from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. <laughs> just, oh no! I hope yeah. I'm a girl! <laughs> Taya, that's her name. Oh yes, I picked this up at the telegraph office on our way home. What is it? Surely you haven't forgotten already? I put upon you for the matter only yesterday. You put upon me, Sholmes. Oh, you put upon me, Sholmes. I had to fill out your telegram to Japan and foot the bill as well. Oh, we've had a reply already? What was so urgent, though, Sholmes? Such matters can wait until later. I'm far uh -huh. too hungry for an involved conversation at present. You can talk and eat. I hate you! Well, can you please, for once in your miserable fucking life, please, I shake you by the shoulders. How? Oh, but Iris, that's too hard. I am going to inject you with liquid mercury if you do not start speaking. Afraid we'll have to do that later, Iris. I have a distraction to attend to. I have got an appointment with uh, 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 other liquid mercury. <laughs> well, that's good news. I forgot how she sounds, and also I've just woken up, so I don't know if I can quite get to oh, the place. Oh, what a beast it is! <laughs> if I were none the wiser, so I'd think the trial were won already! Roast beef, kipper, stew, oh, steak and kidney pie, Yorkshire pudding... My just god, and you've, you've even got a roast goose! One good thing at the table! Tomorrow could be a very long day, so eat up! <laughs> In that case, I think I'll seat myself just here. This place appears to be the only one set with the helping of pheasant as well. 
Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry I'm trying to drink Pepsi to wake myself up. It's not working. Oh, sorry, Harley. Not there. In this you era, Pepsi has cocaine in it. You don't get to sit in the nice people chair. Why ever not? Are we in set places this evening? Yes, and that place is for Susie's daddy. For me? That's right. I made it especially for you, Professor Mickey. Oh. Well, that's terribly kind of you. It's a shame, really. What do you mean? Shame, really. Shame. Well, for a brief moment, I believed it. So when Pepsi exists already, I think Coca-Cola existed already. Maybe not Pepsi. Yeah, I'll look. I think Pepsi's a little younger, yeah. Yeah. That Susie and I were half sisters, I mean. Mm. Iris being like, hey, I am desperate to get a conversation happening. <laughs> I am going to shame you into speaking. <laughs> Iris, do, do you mean? Yes, I know now. I overheard yesterday. I secretly listened into the conversation you had after I tricked you all into thinking I'd left. I'm glad someone in this cast is trying to figure things out. So, Coca-Cola was made in 1892, and Coke and Pepsi was made in 1898. So, yeah. oh, okay. Um, one's we're, we're like at the exact turn of the century, right? So, do they do they exist? I always forget the exact year this game takes place in. Uh, when was the Great Exhibition? When was the great of London exhibition of London? A uh, great exhibition of London was in 1851. No, we're years no from Coke. Coke. Damn, we're worthless. Years from Coke. So sorry. Okay, the misunderstanding arose because of that autopsy report from a, ten years ago. But actually, it turned out that neither Doctor Wilson nor Professor Mikitoba are Iris's father. Y yeah, we know. Yes, uh, about that, Iris. You know, I... I know. You can't tell me at the moment. Boop. Are we serious? Oh, Iris! Oh. You came and you kissed me! The pheasant is by way of an apology. I'm sorry for eavesdropping. You're apologizing?! What?! Oh! He's a good girl! No, no, that's quite alright. I... Oh. Then why don't I get any apologetic pheasants? Fuck Show you! <laughs> get kicked by a horse. Go eat some paint. <laughs> so just who go, is go Iris's father? Go lick some wallpaper, Shums. I suppose that's not something we'll be finding out today. Well, so obviously her dad is a, the professor because uh, she was the real murderer because this is a shoot to Kumi I... <laughs> I shouldn't joke, at this point, there is a 70% chance that that was her dad. <laughs> I, I don't- that is fine! While our largely pheasantless plates are still pumpy hot. A fine idea, Sholmes. It all looks absolutely delicious. Here, have this piping hot dish of pea wet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! No. Go on, eat it. It's good for you, Mr. Nicky. No, it's poison. This could be our last chance to ask questions before tomorrow's trial. Too bad no one will answer them about that telegram from Japan and about Cosimo. Imbibe in chat. I can't let this opportunity slip away. Oh, would it be too much trouble if I asked a question? No, I'm sitting like this. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Good look, I'm holding my dick. I'm sitting like uh, you You can just put me right in an airplane compartment. <laughs> just in case any of you forgot that I was autistic. No, sir, we did not. <laughs> um, Mr. Sholmes, what are you doing? Sitting like L. Death Note. Surely it's abundantly clear. But that it's I not all about me. <laughs> over Mikotoba's refusal to share his pheasant with me. Yeah, but the worst. 
I felt a need to withdraw from the social circle for a while and look at my hungry eyes. Where, where, where? Sorry, Hurley, but I called that pheasant especially for Susie's daddy. Pheasant is for only for people who tell their surrogate daughters things. Mm. Actually, I'll have you know that my father didn't tell me quite a few things until I was, um, uh, you know, about 16 years old, so... <sighs> though I've played the role of your father for you for far longer. Have you, though? You've kind of I just didn't... played the part of, like, a crackhead uncle. <laughs> I didn't say I was good at it. Okay. <laughs> um, mm. Mr. Sholmes, could I discuss some things with you? Mm. Suddenly, my dear fellow, I find myself quite in the mood for a spell of conversation. What is this game, guys? No doubt you're hungry to learn more of my deep love of game. I can probably contain my curiosity on that one. You needed to look at me in that fashion. In what fashion? It seems, before we discuss the pheasant, we have some rather unpheasant matters to discuss. Like how uh... I didn't get any pheasant. Would you like to talk more about the pheasant? Okay. I'm yes. going to make this my character arc. So, what was in the telegram you received back from Japan, then? Ah, this. I thank my lucky stars that arrived in time. Record found as indicated duplicate follows. K. Asuki, mm -hmm. A. Shin, mm -hmm. T. Gregson, J. Wilson. What? I literally read that as, what? Those are four names! It's like, <laughs> you got it, man! We've come across that exact same list before! Yeah, dude, I know. You're acting like this is a big reveal rather than the first thing that should have happened at the start of this game, but it's such like, we forget that things were set up. They came up in that unforgettable case last spring. Even though you forgot them. <laughs> What oh, appeared to pups. be a simple case of aggravated murder turned out to be a masking, monumental intrigue. A plot that involved the sale of British governmental secrets to foreign states. In exposing the means by which those secrets were being leaked, we deciphered a fragment of a message. K. Arsagi, Arshin, T. Gregson, J. Wilson. But we didn't find the names out until the case was over. And we never did get to the bottom of what they meant, because I'm too busy never pursuing anything. Or we knew. I have I have the interest in asking follow-up questions of Steven Universe. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the information had been sent by somebody in the British government to somebody in Japan. So, why are the names coming up again now? Yes, where did the sender of your telegram discover them, Mr. Sholmes? Suddenly, I don't feel like talking! I don't yeah. like speaking to women. What? <laughs> I have here the message I had wired yesterday. Allow me to read it to you. Don't talk to women. No, he's just like, I don't like speaking to women, Susano. Then I have good news for you. I have wonderful news. <laughs> Enter Judge Jigoku's office undetected and investigate telegram records. Expect to find communication from British dated one year ago. List of four names need by tomorrow, Naruhodo. I sent it to a detective I know, Hosunaga, who specializes in clandestine <laughs> missions of this nature. My hope of hopes is that Hosunaga shows up again for no reason. I, for I have five enough. fucking seconds. Give us the boy. I want Hosunaga to be the grand mastermind. I, I it wouldn't make any sense. I just like Hosunaga. <laughs> <laughs> you asked Inspector Hosonaga to undertake such an odious task for you? And in my name? <sighs> Wonder what guys he opted for this time. He's dressed up as this telegram! Let me unfold him for you! <coughs> yes, yeah. paper! My dear fellows, it was a matter of great urgency, you understand. Anyway, the list of names was found in Seishiro's office, as Sholmes predicted. So, you mean, that mysterious collection of names that was sent to Britain from Japan was... It was sent to Judge Jigoku. He was the intended recipient. I don't believe it. But that doesn't answer the question of what the list of names actually signifies. I did formulate a hypothesis about that. 
I don't know if we've ever seen him us. make this face in this pose before. No. But without a shred of evidence, I couldn't possibly have shared it. And now I shan't regardless. Mr. Sholmes looks deadly serious for once. Hey, before I forget, I'm just gonna look at the thingy. Because we've got a yeah. bucket of evidence right now. Ooh, a bouquet. Cool. <laughs> now that's, you know. That's tragedy we had to go through on the SS Burya. It was all for nothing. Cosima wasn't dead after all. Oh, is this like a list of people who were supposed to fake their death? Uh, I don't think so. We were completely taken in by the lie you told us. Your great detective's lie. It was mid, sir. A mid detective's lie. <laughs> I took no pleasure in deceiving you. However, at the time... I thought it was funny. <laughs> All that concerned me was preventing the young man's study tour from taking place, whatever the cost. What? I capitalized on the events that transpired to see that he was sent back to Japan. His remains, you mean? Precisely, Mr. Sato. And made sure that somebody else was sent to Britain in his stead. Oh, my, you mean. What do you mean, you mean? We know! The arrangement, be the arrangement between our two countries was already in place. One university student lawyer and one judicial assistant to be accommodated on a study tour. In other words, by arranging for someone else to fill the place originally intended for Mr. Osterby, I would successfully prevent the man from arriving on our shores for several years, at least. Wait, do, do you mean to say that it was all in the aid of stopping Cosima coming to Britain? That's why you... In back, Mr. Narahodo. Was there not somebody who quite casually urged you to continue on your voyage to England? Uh, we keep trading off Hosanaga. Right now it can be Will, I think. Sure. The terms of the study tour were negotiated by the Department of Just Justice in both Great Britain and Japan. In the light of Mr. Osagi's unfortunate death, I'm afraid the study tour can no longer go ahead. My dear fellows, the majority of problems have an extremely simple solution, you know. All you require is one lawyer, and the study tour can continue, shall they? But... Orcus! There's no one else with the necessary qualifications, <laughs> Mr. Sholmes. We know of no other lawyer. Chat, Hosanaga instantly says something racist. No. <laughs> Voice to London still promises a good month of time. Ample opportunity, I would say, to find yourselves another suitable lawyer. So, you manipulated me? Yeah, man, we're way past that. <laughs> I've often remarked on the extraordinary lengths to which friendship will drive a man. Friendship. Yeah, I, was, I was quite sure that you would rise to the challenge for your late friend. I don't believe it. I'm gonna throw this whole plate of pheasant at you. This is going- That's exactly what I face. want! Another manipulation successful! Someone, someone in chat, bro, you get manipulated for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so then I suppose that uh, what happens next is also something you wanted to happen. Me lighting you on fire. Yes? Yes. Yes. I mean, what happened was treated by the authorities as murder. A woman was mistakenly arrested as the perpetrator. What do you suppose became of her? Actually, I didn't allow the misapprehension to have any serious repercussions. I subsequently explained everything and assisted the unfortunate soul in finding the foreign refuge she sought. Yeah, you did a and really so great job for that with Kazuma. I'm sure she did great. <laughs> I seem to remember Miss Suzato and I had some rather strong words for her. Well, she was certainly not devoid of all guilt. She deserved every word, I'm sure. I wonder if she made it to America, then. <sighs> I'm afraid I simply cannot comprehend it. Why would you go to such lengths, Mr. Sholmes? Why were you such a dick? <laughs> I don't feel like talking anymore. 
The truth is, 12 months ago, 12 or a year. Ago, <laughs> there was already a very tangible omen of the impending tragedy, you see. Oh? An omen that, at this very moment in time, is close at hand. An omen of all these tragic events that already existed a year ago is close at hand? What? We need to find out exactly what Mr. Sholmes knows. Okay. I guess uh, not. What is this? Tell me! You you gave me this! There was no room for doubt with your instructions in this telegram, Mr. Sholmes. You were very clear that it was Judge Jigoku's office that should be searched, so you obviously knew that's where the list of names would be found. Kaosugi A. Shin T. Gregson J. Wilson. But we only learnt of those four names just over six months ago now, and only because they appeared as part of a top secret government communication that was leaked. That's true, yes. But at the t but at the time, you were unaware of the background. You see, those four names were wired to Japan. Around six months before that. Approximately this time last year, in fact, when you were both still in Japan. B. It really would be hypocrisy on my part to reprove others for intercepting state secrets. Because after all, I'm perpetually eavesdropping on communications between the British government and Japanese governments. You're perpetually doing what? How? I somehow misread that as, you're perpetually doing what? Iris! <laughs> like, he's immediately gonna tell on him? Never mind the details, but you should know. Uh -huh. No secret is safe from Herlock Sholmes when he has designs on knowing it. Oh my, Mr. Sholmes, what a fabulous line! <laughs> now, a month after that list of four names was wired to the recipient Shigoku in Japan, Dr. John H. Wilson was murdered. And soon as I learned of the incident, the hypothesis rapidly took shape in my mind. He might as be dead. As it turned out, I was partly correct and partly mistaken. He's dead! <laughs> Nevertheless, it was the beginning of all the, of all the tragic events that were to follow. Mr. Sholmes, please, tell us all you know! That's That line and its permutations are really the this will be the final testimony yeah. of this yeah. game. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about these four names and the tragedy to which they've all somehow connected themselves. Why are you always lying? lying. Mm, oh my god! Stop fucking lying! <laughs> As I said when I learned of Dr. Wilson's murder in Japan, my mind immediately turned to those four names. Because you see, there was someone else on the list who I believed to be recently deceased. What? Who? A Shin, as it was transcribed in Japanese script. In actual fact, Miss Osashi. That was a familiar name to me. She was a professional killer, well known among London's unsavory classes. I really can't get over how bad of an assassin she is. <laughs> oh, I see. But she had completely vanished from existence several months before Wilson's murder. So I came to the logical conclusion that she had herself been killed, and accordingly I came fearful for the lives of the remaining two persons on the list. Ah, Kaosugi and T. Gregson. Owing to our proximity, I decided to take measures to protect Gregson myself. Failed it. But I determined it would <laughs> it would be safest if young Asugi were to stay away from Britain. Nailed it. Ah. So, uh, so that's why you went to such lengths to prevent this study tour from going ahead. Then why wouldn't you tell us this? Why wouldn't you yeah. tell us there's a mark on our friend's head so he's alive and we're sending him back? It's so needlessly cruel. I didn't write that part yet. <laughs> Get out of my ear! Exactly! So, you already knew who Kazuma Sama was, Mr. Sholmes? Oh yeah, I'm here too. Yes, Sholmes and I have He's exchanged- He's just there, uh, this p is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in a horrible green milk mustache yes. at the end. <laughs> He's eating it out of his hat. Mm. <laughs> I look like a Goosebumps book cover. <laughs> 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 
Oh yes, Jones and I have exchanged correspondence for years. I recounted many tales about Asagi to him in my letters, and the news of Dr. Wilson's death, of course. I don't like this conversation. So. Oh my god, Dr. that's Wilson how she learns? Is dead then. I didn't know. Oh, right, we're awful! Wow. I know he wasn't my daddy, but still. Do, do you think Mikotoba's just like, sad. wait, wait, you didn't tell her? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Mikotoba spits out some P word. Excuse me? You spent this long with this little girl without telling her about her father? Who are you, me? <laughs> mm, who are you, my father? I'm so sorry, Iris. <laughs> A question Suzano legitimately had to ask herself when she saw her dad on the couch. I I can't forgive that. I'm never going to forget about that. We knew the significance of the name, obviously, but... Wow, we're just going to blow past it, huh? All right. We just I... couldn't bring ourselves to tell you. You're I mean, awful! Yeah, they, I mean, yeah, no. Rinosuke blows past the racism done against him. Why wouldn't they blow past those... You could pour soup in my lap and I'd probably apologize to you, p -wet. <laughs> But what you just told us, Mr. Sholmes, doesn't completely tie in with the facts. There's one big hole in your hypothesis. A big hole, Mr. Naroda? Ah, uh, yes. You mean about Asashim, I presume? Oh, of course! Exactly. She wasn't killed, was she? She was in Japan, posing as a visiting student under the assumed name of Giselle Brett. I'm glad you're keeping up, my dear fellow. Someone but I only to. became aware of that fact two days ago in the foyer of the Great Waterloo Hotel. Ah! And upon hearing that startling revelation, the hypothesis I'd formed surrounding those four names was completely turned topsy. What? Topsy? Like the elephant? What about Turvy? What do you. That's like a pair of Ace Attorney character names. Yeah. What do you mean when you say your hypothesis was turned topsy, Mr. Sholmes? That's the, uh, that's the old-timey equivalent of, you need to turn your thinking around, Nick. You need to turn things topsy, Naruhodo. Ugh. <laughs> I believed all four names on the list to be names of victims. But I can't turn things topsy. However, I was mistaken. Very much so. Asashin was a killer. So this telegram... Okay, I read that wrong and then right. So this telegram is a list of both victims and killers, is it? Indeed. And it would seem that Miss Sheen was dispatched from Britain with the sole intention of dispatching Dr. Wilson. Her visiting student status being merely a front. Ah. <sighs> Which would, of course, explain why no motive could be determined for her actions. So the real reason Dr. Wilson was killed by Asa Sheen was because he was the target of Asasashin. And for armed with that knowledge, fresh consideration of this telegram puts the list in a very different perspective. What so do you mean? Paired off, right? Mm -hmm. Well, does it not strike you? There is another among the four who subsequently became a visiting student. Wait, you mean? Of course, a name you know only too well. You, you mean? Kazuma. Oh! He, he did say in court earlier today. Was oh, I to kill Jigoku, so... Oh, that's me, right. Yes, on the 31st of October, I accompanied Inspector Gregson to Dunkirk in order to carry out a mission. And the mission was? The assassination of the Mark. Young Mr. Asugi accepted that mission a year ago now. Surely not. In conclusion, this document is a contract of sorts. An international agreement, one might say, detailing an assassin exchange. An assassin exchange? How could Cosma possibly have got involved in something like that? Let's assume that we have two parties, each wishing to dispose of a distinct individual. Those two parties then make a contract to swap their respective assassination targets. That would be an assassin exchange. 
So, to begin with, the British assassin is dispatched as a visiting student to Japan where she kills her target. And then, the Japanese assassin is dispatched as a visiting student to Britain in order to eliminate his target. It certainly does sound like an exchange. But what on earth is the point? <laughs> Don't forget, Narahodo, that the British assassin at least escaped conviction, thanks to the diplomatic immunity afforded by consular jurisdiction. Oh, yes. If, I know this doesn't matter, but like, if I were her and I knew, and she did know this outright, she could get away with anything due to the political climate, I would have just openly murdered Wilson instead of the whole stupid stake nonsense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Such jurisdiction should be null and void under the terms of the new treaty between our two countries. So the fact that it was brought into play suggests intervention at the very highest levels. The highest levels? These murders were two sides of the same coin, linked not by a common motive, but by a contractual agreement. As such, they appeared utterly unrelated, yet in truth the assassins were complicit in one singular devilish scheme. That dissociation and the safeguard of diplomatic community were, I believe, the motivation behind this plot. Oh, but wait a minute, Sholmes! If this fuck... Fuck, Sholmes, goddammit! If this telegram really is describing the exchange of assassins, as you're suggesting, it would mean that the Japanese killer's target was never Seishiro Jigoku at all. It would mean that Asagi's target was actually Inspector Gregson. What? Cosimo was- Keep up, Ryanosuke! Cosimo was here for Gregson! So Judge Jigoku wasn't actually the mark. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what it would mean. I hold myself personally responsible for failing to keep the inspector safe. Oh, okay, cool. Good! I told him of my fears and implored him to seek a transfer to an overseas position. Obviously, with the young pickpocket in tow. Yes, Gina. Come to think of it, Inspector Gregson did mention that to us at the Great Exhibition, that he would be transferring to the Paris police and taking Gina with him. I might sneeze. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might sneeze. Me. Wait, there isn't time for that now. We'll get back to it later. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, fuck. Without informing me, he engaged in one last assignment, it seems. And sadly, it turned out to be his very last. This is too much to take in. Also, if this is true, fucking hilarious that Kazuma participated in the trial to convict Asashin in the way he did. It's just like, Lamau, this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, everyone. That's quite enough of all that series talk for one day. My brain hurts. Isn't it, Hurley? I mean, look at the time. You've got to go to bed, bye. Oh, quite right, Iris. We must conclude our preparations for tomorrow. What preparations? Well, I think I shall make my way back to my hotel room now. This certainly has been a night to remember. Why are you smiling? <laughs> this is not a happy day. It is a little bit sad, though. It's exclusively sad. There are no other emotions at play. Oh, I mean... I like the idea of you being my daddy. Because then Susie would have been my big sister. I'm sorry, Iris. Iris being like, I'm still a good character, please. Please. <laughs> I know, Iris. I was thinking quite the same thing. Were you? But if somebody like me would be worthy, I would be delighted to become your sister. Your color schemes are complimentary. Mm -hmm. What? Really? Oh yes, without question. So, you'll teach me all the ways you know how to throw Runo to the floor? Yes, yes, of course. It would be my pleasure. You did not agree quite so readily. Oh, but wait a minute. If Susie's going to be my big sister, you could be my big brother if you want, Runo. Actually, you'll have two big brothers. <laughs> Huh? I, I mean, yes, of course. Uh, if you'll have me, I'll gladly be your brother. Shut the hell up! Well done, Iris. We must always be mindful of feelings. I've raised you so well. No. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> the four 
sister's whispering! <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> because being sensitive is your strong suit, naturally. Right, I'm going to work extra hard for tomorrow now, because it's for my big brother and sister! Someone clicked the oh, laugh there, that was fucking That was hilarious. really aggressive, that was... <laughs> I could just see, I could just see you like leaning back and your eyes kind of bugging out in opposite directions on that last ha. <laughs> like that um. one seagull. <laughs> <laughs> what is all this talk about preparing for tomorrow? Preparing what? The trial, my guy. <laughs> We're going to kill you. Oh, thank God. I'm so tired of being here. <laughs> Good luck in court tomorrow. I'm expecting a sterling performance. I'll do my very best, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get a drink. So the overnight break in the trial's proceedings became a critical turning point, exposing new truths whilst posing new conundrums. That list of four names on the telegram in Judge Jigoku's office, and the extraordinary assassination plot in which my best friend had somehow become involved, I hope Shomes is wrong. I, not because I like Cosmo, but because I think it's dumb. I felt as though I'd been plunged into an even greater darkness all of a sudden. Japanese writer challenged not using darkness as a synonym for evil. <laughs> but at the same time, I felt that I would see the light again soon. Ah! We are going to beat you, you to death. death. Because I was lucky to have... The most wonderful fam- What? Where is this coming from? I- I don't see us we as gotta a- We gotta write this in last minute! <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we've earned- I'll give you Iris, but Sholmes and Mika Tobe, no. No. They lied. And Suzada was gone for most of, like, your time- This is so strange. I don't feel like- Like, I don't even like Nick and Maya, but I think they earned this type of relationship way more readily. <laughs> I can trust one of these people, and it's Iris. I respect Suzato, but I don't know if I trust her all the way, since she'll just be like, I was told to keep a secret for no reason! I am so sorry I am my father's daughter! <laughs> Did I forget to mention that? Also, it should be noted that Suzato is like 16 years old, so it, it's kind of reasonable that she's a bit stupid. <laughs> Yeah, I would, I would trust Susato. She's just a little dumb sometimes, but she's not dumb most of the time, I would say. Before we begin today, I have a brief announcement. It's, it's my, my birthday! birthday! <laughs> <laughs> As with the closed trial ten years ago, some astonishing facts have come to light in these proceedings. The revelation that the well-known Reaper is actually an organization illegally executing its own brand of justice and the discovery that a respected yard inspector was at its heart until he himself perished as an assassination plot. Well, I say to all members of the judiciary here present on this occasion that we will stop at nothing to uncover the whole truth behind these disturbing findings. Councils, you will undertake this trial with the resolve to pursue the truth to the bitter end. I only just realized that his hair is supposed to evo evoke a unicorn horn. Yeah! Oh, um, yeah. Resolve. Yes. That's the game's title. My lord, if I may inquire... Are we sure Strongheart is evil? I am praying he's not. <laughs> the defendant may speak. Thank you. I forgot to go pee before yeah, we start. Good! Can I just... Y you are correct to ask this question! Yeah! Really, on though? What, on what grounds is Kazuma Asuki permitted to continue in his role as prosecutor? He has admitted to be <laughs> with the victim in a plot to assassinate an innocent man. He shouldn't be enjoying the privilege of freedom, let alone be leading the prosecution. Damn you, right? I submitted a written petition to Lord Strongheart. I got 50 names, all signed in pretty ink. He said it was okay. 
I said it was okay. Just... Requesting the judgment of my transgressions. Be what? By one just, day. It's just that one Parks and Rec meme where it's like, here's my I here's my permit. This is just a paper that says I can do what I want. Uh oh. You did what? <coughs> Whoa. Oh, hang on. Everyone's roboting for me really bad. Uh, oh, um, really? Yeah, it's just on you guys' end. Okay. So oh. I sound okay? You sound yeah. okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Mm? Okay. In today's proceedings, I intend to expose everything. My whole life for the last 10 years has all been leading up to this one day. Cosima. Yeah, the video is a little choppy for me, too, so yeah, uh, let's... if I'm delayed. That's really interesting, because on my end, everything's totally fine. Let me okay, try... Okay, I'm, I'm just going to leave and come back. Hang on. Yeah, I can try uh... changing the server. Yeah, I was about to say, maybe just changing the server. Do, 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 no, do. My, mine's, mine's chunking real bad. Mm -hmm. Like, even your audio. I think it's Discord. I think it's Discord in general. I mean, yeah, it... I think it's just... Okay, I'm... I'm trying to figure out how to do that. It's sometimes available in the top right okay. on like DMs and sometimes I think not. We're good now. Maybe. I think I think we're good now. You stop yeah. roboting, and I can see your mouse moving around fine. So yeah. Okay. Whatever the outcome of this trial, I give my word that I will accept whatever punishment is deemed appropriate, however severe. And I suggest you prepare yourself for the same, Reaper. Did you not just hear Stronghearts opener of it being an organization? Like, get off my dick. Ooh, Kazuma's bristling with hostility today. Don't yeah, no, fall for it's... this. I'm very- It is chunking again. Hang on. Okay, yeah, I think it's either just U2's internet is having a problem or the server, which it- I don't know how to change it when it's, like, not a DM. Yeah, um, there is a way. Server settings. Uh, come on, this should be guys. Like right quit arguing in chat. Just calm down. It's a game. Yeah. Okay. Um, how to change Discord server region? Region override section. Where is that? I'm so bad at scanning for information. Especially since I got glasses. Because, like, every time I try and flip my eyes back and forth, I, like, notice all the little smudges on my glasses, and, like, it, like, distracts me immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um... So Guys, it's okay to discuss and chat, but keep it civil. Seriously. <laughs> uh, edit channel? Is it in here? No. It could be under server settings, I think. Yeah, I can't find it there. Um... disconnected. <laughs> you love to see it. Yeah. I don't know why that happened since my Discord is still fine. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna make a DM with the four of us because I know how to edit that and it's functionally the same, so. Okay. Okay. Uh, start with Yam, add Will, Spec, blah, blah, blah. create group GM. Yeah, we already have one. Great. That's very unsurprising. Um, oh, no, we don't. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, call in there. Here we are. Ba-dum, ba-dum. Okay, share my screen. Region. I still got that little, little bibber saying that we're chunking, but it's fine right now. Let's try U.S. East. Ba-doop, ba-doop, boop, boop. Server change. Did that do anything? Uh, I don't see the little bibber. Okay. Nobody's roboting. Yeah. All right. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, and I'm doing. Okay, we are still streaming. That's gonna cut the stream in half, which is very annoying. But anyway, I get the distinct impression we're heading into very dangerous territory. 
Is that really even Kazuma-sama standing before us? Sorry, I was enjoying my Dublin 1891 grapefruit soda. As an extreme exception to normal practices, I have granted the, this prosecutor's request. Because I'm going to light this motherfucker up tomorrow. Yeah. The defense finds this acceptable, I presume. No. Yes, my lord. In that case, in the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I hereby declare this court to be in session again. We resume the closed hearing of Beric Van Zeeks. The defense is ready, my lord. Prosecution is more than ready. Very well, then. This preamble has taken long enough. Prosecutor Osagi, begin. No. As you wish, my lord. The prosecution calls the first witness to the stand. Bring Seishiro Jigoku into the courtroom. At last, then. <laughs> We've reached the final battle. He's putting literally everything on the line now in order to get to the truth. Owie. Ow. Come on, Ryanosuke. It's time for that steely resolve, because this is going to test it to the limit. I don't want to be here. Witness, state your name and occupation for the court. Birthday boy. I'm afraid birthday the boy. Birthday, birthday boy is boy. someone else today. <laughs> hmm. So it was you who issued this, was it? Your subpoena? I did what was necessary. <laughs> well, what the young man has become. Look, <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> I don't know, I just totally missed that one. I want to get through this game as fast as possible, so I'm just going to start skipping words. I think C day, oh, you guilty. No, don't do that. <laughs> I didn't think I'd see the day when you'd take that tone with me, I must say. The witness will ensure his responses are pertinent to the questions asked. I still like strong hearts. <laughs> My name is Seishiro Jigoku, the Supreme Court judge from the Empire of Japan. Sixteen years ago, this man came to London as a visiting student. Six years later, he returned to Japan. As well as presiding over the Supreme Court, he is also currently Japan's Minister of Foreign Affairs. Oh, is he? I am, of course, fully aware of Mr. Jogoku and his preeminent roles. I invited him personally to the International Forensic Science Symposium as a representative of his country. I hear he also played a key role in the conclusion of the Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation. Ha! It was a great honor to be involved in the negotiations. I put my all into that treaty. Judge Jigoku, I must ask. Yes, the beard's real. Well, I never fancy the young... I never fancy the young murdering student turning up here of all places. <laughs> Just went right over that ellipsis. <laughs> I literally don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're not finishing today, Will. <laughs> I don't think you can speed it to the end. <laughs> you acquitted me yourself, and now I'm a practicing defense lawyer. Yes, and full of self-importance like your friend across the courtroom, I see. You came here to London by invitation to the International Forensic Science Symposium. But then, without informing anyone of your plans, you took flight to France. Took flight? I have to object to that turn of phrase. Then explain yourself. What exactly were the circumstances? Well, I was somewhat expecting this, and I'm sorry to say... I declined to comment. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Leaving the country prematurely when I was invited was an invited guest may be questionable etiquette. But my decision is unrelated to this case. I can't be bound to testify. Unrelated, you say? I appreciate that a respected police inspector has been killed, for which I offer my condolences. However, being an alien, I'd obviously never met the man, nor do I know the first thing about him. However, being an alien... Are you a squid or a kid? As such, I'm in no position to testify. It's as simple as that. Let me beam a message back to my mothership. Adjusts his beard parts like their antennae. We, so we're gonna have to prove that we that he knew him by presenting the note, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh? So, you would run from all this? 
I beg your pardon? This case is more far-reaching than the murder of Inspector Gregson. It has ties to another murder. A case that was tried in Japan almost a year ago now. A year ago in Japan? You mean the murder of Dr. John H. Wilson? You mean? <laughs> Chad, Canon Moon Man! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And you, Judge Jigoku, are at the heart of both cases. The defense has evidence to prove it. Hmm? Well, Rinosuke, I see from that look in your eyes that you're resolved to carry this through to the very end, too. Yep. Let's see your evidence, then. What proof do you have that Seishiro Jigoku is involved in this case? Which one was it, Yam? The last one. The telegram. Okay. Oh, yeah, because it's from Jigoku's <laughs> office. It, yeah. This is a telegram detailing a communication sent between Britain and Japan approximately one year ago. The communication contained four names. K. Asagi, R. Shin, T. Gregson, and OK. You, you little... Where did you get that? In Tokyo. From your office, Judge Degoku. What? How on earth did you... What is this all about? Why is my name on that list? This is a list of four names. Uh, this list of four names follows a certain pattern. Oh, we're going to assume Sholmes was right, are we? T. Gregson and J. Wilson are the names of victims. K. Asagi and R. Sheen are the names of assassins. No. Shot. A year ago in Tokyo, Dr. John H. Wilson's life was taken in a Western-style restaurant in the capital, in what was by far the worst case in this duology. <laughs> the culprit was found to be a visiting student who went by the name of Giselle Brett, but her real name was Asa Sheen, a professional killer sent on a mission to, uh, a mission to kill from Great Britain. Mm-hmm. Asian and her victim, Jay Wilson, and the murder that took place here in London was the counterpart to that crime. Why did it take a year? An assass- I guess because Kazuma was over there. Whatever. An assassin sent from Japan, also a visiting student, Kazuma Asagi, whose victim was the British police of uh, inspector, Tobias Gregson. K. Asagi and T. Gregson. One assassin from each country to kill a target residing in the other. What exactly is the defense suggesting? Some the, crazy shit, my lord. These two cases of murder, one that took place in Britain and one in Japan, were masterminded by a pair of individuals from each country as a form of assassin exchange. And the telegram the defense has acquired is proof of this international contract to kill. Man, if I were Kazuma, I'd be like, this is absurd and this is a very easy thing to contradict. <laughs> what? The telegram was found in your office, Judge Jigoku. In other minds, in other words, the mastermind in Japan was you. Jigoku, what is this all about? And you, Kazuma, you lied. Uh, During yesterday's proceedings, you acknowledged that you'd accepted the assassination mission. But the mark wasn't Judge Jigoku at all. It was T. Gregson. Detective Inspector of Scotland Yard, as shown by the name on the killing contract. Very impressive, Rinosuke. Oh, we're just gonna fall. Oh. But actually, I didn't lie. Oh, sorry. The name of the target I was ordered to kill never passed my lips yesterday. The idea that Seishiro Jigoku was the mark came entirely from you. Uh, okay, but maybe cool. I, I don't know why you're acting like you just you just really zinged me. You, that know, you didn't got you know, me there. me there, bud. Damn, nice perjury dodge, assassin. <laughs> nice confession, Kazuma. <laughs> you deliberately <laughs> avoided saying a name, Speed Racer. Right, this is dumb. Uh, the defense claims these four names indicate some sort of international assassin exchange. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I speak for all present when I say that the very idea is utterly absurd. <laughs> well, Mr. Chigoku, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> you he like just starts eating popcorn. 
you sound like a judge at like a fancy dog show. It's just like, mm, I think it's quite clear in the rules that um, this breed is not allowed over this size. Oh, sip, sip, sip. <laughs> sip, sip, sip. <laughs> his silence only goes to prove his guilt. There's another very important point that this new development brings to light. There's now a distinct possibility that the scene of Inspector Gregson's actual murder was in the witness's cabin aboard the SS Grouse. Mm. Judge Jagoko, you have... Jagoko. <laughs> Judge Gaku! You have Gaku. to testify now. You To refuse would put you in contempt of court. <laughs> oh, there's no need for quite such a vicious stare, young man. Hey, chat, this guy's just Ga Damon Gant again, right? Am I wrong? They're the same character. I don't know who that is. Uh, that, yeah, that's why I was adjusting chat. Hmm. Very well, then. As a parting gift to you all, I'll tell you everything I know. Oh, please. Yes, that would be nice, since you're in trial. It seems this Japanese gentleman has information that the court must hear. About the alleged assassin exchange and the events of the night of the 31st October. Present your formal testimony now. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna, like, plank and fall over. <laughs> like Me Luigi too. doing that one time. Yeah! As you wish, my lord. I didn't do it. Wasn't me. I'm a birthday boy. <clears throat> it's true that Cosimo. I'm still not. I'm sorry. I'm still not over how they didn't leap on Cosimo. Literally, just kind of admitting to killing Gregson just now. Mm -hmm. a, a confession is only damning if the defendant says it. In all other circumstances, they literally ignore it every time. It's fucking oh. insane. Fuck. It's true that Kazuma Asuki was assigned the assassination mission one year ago now. The target was Inspector T. Gregson. That was a condition of the British study tour. However... In the end, something happened that meant the young man was unable to carry out his mission. On the evening in question, a member of the crew was on duty outside my cabin at all times. If there had been a shot fired, the crewman would have heard it. So clearly I can't be involved. So, so why, why is Van Zeke still on trial here? The saying about him. <laughs> Say about him. So it was the fire alarm. The fire alarm went off at the same time. Yeah, that could happen. Um, so you admit it then. As this communication suggests, there really was an assassin exchange arranged between Britain and Japan. A political endeavor at the highest levels. Not something I can discuss here. Oh, I think you can because this is a highest level court case. Kind of bullshit. To use such a worthy practice as foreign as as foreign study to coerce somebody to commit murder, it's the most appalling thing I've ever heard. Really? Her little hands on her head, so cute. Appalling? Well, it's easy Snarl. to judge. <laughs> Look at my face. Pardon? Asuki had a reason for taking his sword to the British inspector, you know. What? What? Which is why he accepted the mission in the first place. Isn't that right, Council? I like to look over and just see Beric von Zeeks asleep on a couch, like, wake me up when you're done this shit. He's sleeping, like, beautifully and overdramatically. Judge Jigoku, if you are the mastermind behind this operation in Japan, then tell the court the identity of your counterpart in Britain. Why would I do that? I'm not obliged to divulge that information. As I said yesterday, I've killed nobody. But I, I freely admit you. I freely admit that I accepted the mission, but on the night uh, the plan was to be executed, I backed out. In short, the assassin exchange that the defense has identified is unrelated to the event to the events of this case. Unrelated is a little strong, I feel. The crucial point is this. Your police inspector can have perished aboard the steamship in Dunkirk. Because if he'd been shot in the cabin, it's inconceivable that a member of the crew wouldn't have heard it. Well, yeah, you fucking paid him off. That's yeah, we literally saw you pay him off yesterday. <laughs> That's right. Gregson was killed after returning to London in the room on Fresno Street. 
And the perpetrator of that crime was the Reaper, Barak von Zeeks. Source, I made it the fuck up! The prosecution's accusation remains unchanged. You should change it. To think that a seemingly innocent foreign <laughs> exchange program was a facade for such Machiavellian dealings! <laughs> Clearly, it's a plot only a government minister and high-ranking judge such as the witness could have hoped to have executed. I well, love your strong... Say it! <laughs> well, I seem to recall that it was someone on the British side who controlled everything. Be that as it may, it is not the place of this court to pursue this villainous assassination exchange plot. It's, I read that wrong. I don't care. It's so funny that, like, I don't want Strongheart to be the other guy, even though it's probably him. And that would... But it's so funny. It's just like, I can't believe this is happening. The audacity. <laughs> and, and the other judge is just like, oh, I seem to remember it was someone else's plan. Well, whoever that handsome devil was. <laughs> <laughs> We are concerned only with the tangible events pertaining to the murder of Inspector Gregson. Is the defense clear on that point, counsel? Okay, but it's related. Yes, my lord. I'll keep that in mind as I cross-examine the witness. Thank you. Thank you. Kisses. Mwah. It's true I'm a bad guy, but I'm not that bad. I'm just a little guy. You're not little. You're like nine feet tall. Yes, as the court has heard, there was a crewman posted outside Judge Jigoku's cabin. However, we can be sure that contrary to the witness's claim, the guard wasn't there at that time. What? I'm just going to take a little nap here. I'm going to lie down on the floor next to Van Zee. We're just... Good night, Suzato. I have a... I was going to do like a little kiss joke, but I don't think... I think you just like give her a little pat on the head. Okay, if my lips touch a girl, I will explode. Wait, that's strange. Oh. I gave you a little kiss and I'm fine. Suzato! <laughs> what are you not? Ah! I, I love the trans Suzato joke. <laughs> I have here a notice of a particular event that was scheduled to take place aboard the steamship on the 31st. What? Where did you get that? On the steamship. What? Where was that? In the water. The water. What? Outside What's that? Of Dunkirk. Water <laughs> Who's is... Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's evidence gathered by Mr. Herlock Sholmes. You were acquainted yesterday, if you remember. Herlock Sholmes again. According to this itinerary, after leaving the port of Dunkirk at exactly 10 p.m. and over a period... Uh, for a period of 20 minutes, all crewmen of the SS Gross were to gather on the deck for an evacuation drill. All crewmen were away from their posts? And during that 20 minutes interval, of course, any gunshots emanating from your cabin would have been heard by no one. I shit myself. In summary, <laughs> Judge Jigoku, <laughs> you had ample opportunity to commit the crap. You did it. <laughs> Objection. No! Oh! 20 minute window of opportunity. That's an excellent find for you, Nosuke. Kazuma, I think, is the worst prosecutor in the series in terms of how good at being a prosecutor he is. Like, I feel like everything he says just like, great job, but have you considered this? Yes. Shit! Oh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> He'll just say the most incriminating bullshit in the world. <laughs> But it amounts to nothing. Nick was better? Yeah, no, he genuinely was. <laughs> Why? Because the witness clearly stated in his testimony that no incident occurred in his skin. Well, there's this little thing called lying. You might be familiar with it, jackass. Unless you have some decisive evidence that can show his testimony to be false. Fucking gotcha. Your accusation is nothing more than conjecture. Wow. Conjecture in this courtroom? Yo, Chad, I love that you're like, when you're like, oh, there's a, like, who's the worst prosecutor? You're all like, Godot when Nayuda exists. <laughs> anyway. Very true. Well, counsel. Literally. Oh, that's so true. He is just <laughs> doing that thing where like, I am. You, you hate the conversation that's happening, but like, you don't want people to think you're really? not listening. Really? That's crazy. Wow. Amazing. No way. What? All right. 
Didn't we find a bullet? Didn't Shomzen yes. yeah. make a job of a bullet hole in the cabin? Inspector Gregson was what? killed in Judge Jigoku's cabin that night. I'm certain With of it. With the candelabra. Because the defense has the evidence to prove it. I'm you will sorry, present the evidence for the defense at once, counsel. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> what proof do you have that the victim's life was taken in Jigoku's cabin on Halloween, no less? I don't think I don't think we have anything that shows the bullet hole. Why am I there? Let's just look at the guide. Who gives a shit? It's just look. Oh, okay. Good. Is it the little? Yeah. Yeah, the watch turner. You see these little things all over the place, don't you? It's the part on the top of a pocket watch that you twist to set the time, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's his missing. Maybe. Okay, yeah, it's his yes. missing partner from the watch. Oh, yeah. hello, Alucard. Would you like to sit on my lap? One. Uh, a watch would be quite useless without one. <laughs> Why are you saying my name backwards, Suzato? <laughs> oh, don't, don't go back to sleep. <laughs> the crown. Do you think vampires ever snore? Like no, oh, right? Yes. Cause they, no, they do. Well, do vampires breathe? I have, mean, they, they don't, don't have, have to breathe. Yeah, so no, right? They do <laughs> because it'd be cute. <laughs> I like to think that Van Zeus goes, blah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's it's it's blah! entire. <laughs> just picturing, picturing assistant Cosimo working. It's like, all right, I'll do a couple more hours of work after Van Zeeks goes to bed. <laughs> 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 Just working on top of his coffin. <laughs> the crown, like what sits on top of a monarch's head. It's a very grand name for such a tiny part. But actually... Yes? If this is a crown, I have a feeling I might have seen a monarch around here somewhere with a very bare head. If by monarch you mean pocket watch, then I'm quite sure you have. Oh my, <laughs> look at you and me oh. over here, Suzanne Ho. Okay, how do I how do I connect those? Just I think you just present it. I'm always right. scared. I feel like Yeah, okay. fair. Let me check. No, I I would present the top. Oh I mean, gosh. you have a guide, but I think they want to present the top. I'm going to look at this one more time first to see. I feel so villainous. I have a beautiful cat on my lap and I'm sitting in a swivel chair and I'm shitting on something. What? You know, like shitting on the game. Oh. Oh, okay, here you go. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <Yeah. laughs> the guide actually doesn't mention that you need to look at both of them, but I assume it assumes you already did it, which is fair. That's probably, I think that's the single hardest thing about splitting this up into weak sittings is uh, in a case like this, where you've got four pages of evidence yeah. going like, oh yeah, we did have that. And it's like entirely fair, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Judge Jigoku, this was found in your cabin yesterday. What is that? The crown of a pocket watch? A, a pocket watch? And if you will observe, the victim's pocket watch, which we all know he treasured, is missing precisely that part. It, it can't be. Moreover, this crown is a perfect fit on the spindle protruding from the victim's watch. Now, the fact that this was retrieved from Judge Jigoku's cabin tells us that the victim's watch almost certainly broke there. Also, his fucking backpack. Or backpack. <laughs> nice. <laughs> In other words, the victim was killed on the 31st during the 20-minute evacuation drill. In the cabin occupied by... In the cabin occupied, occupied by you! Occupied by Judge Jigoku! Judge Jigoku! We had a pair of wax swings of his own. <laughs> well, you're razor sharp, aren't you, young murderer? <laughs> Someone, uh, will you stream other Ace Attorney games? Nope, this is the last one. I've played every single one now after this. Objection. Expertly maneuvered, Ryunosuke. Yo. I'm going to jail. That's how well, British people I spell failed. that word? It is spelled yeah. the French way. I, I, I am going across the channel to France on my menu. <laughs> it is like Man. a canoe. <laughs> the way that's spelled is like when I'm running with papers, I drop them and I don't have time to put them together in the right order anymore. Menu. Like, that's just a mess. <laughs> oh. Hey, Cosmo, what will you have me say this time? And your accent <laughs> sounds entirely plausible at first. 
Good job. I'm guilty. I'd rather like this pocket watch. It's full of cracks. All right. He is just a Pez dispenser of problems. What? What? <laughs> just I believe like... that Shigoku feels the same way. English is dumb. Uh, that's the French's problem for that word. Half of the English lexicon comes from French. Uh huh. Uh huh. I was wrong to acquit you earlier in the year. What? No, you weren't. I didn't commit that crime. <laughs> Freak. Sorry. If I'd known that it would result in anyone having to listen to this drivel, I would have declared you guilty just to spare the world your ridiculous bombast. You can't say that. I think it's clear. <laughs> That the witness will have to give further testimony. I'm just he's picturing- He's sipping on a fucking margarita. I was just picturing he's got like a big basket of birthday cupcakes with a lot of frosting. And he's like, in between every pause Will has, he's like mm, licking off another finger of frosting. I think it's clear. That, Ooh, um, he reminds me, he has cinnamon rolls. I'll be right back. His feet are just like kicked up on. Yeah, bed. he's leaning back on the side of it and just like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, all right, if I take my shoes off, uh, we're going to be here a while, right? When you hear what actually happened in my cabin that night, you'll notice the pitfall into which you've stumbled. <gasps> Kazuma couldn't have assassinated him because I shot Gregson. Well, you heard him. They shot Gregson. Oh, Ram I don't want one. guilty. Okay. Mm. okay. Prior to your renewed testimony, I would like to clarify one point. The fact that this part of the victim's watch was discovered in your cabin means that you acknowledge he was there, I presume. Yes, I do. Wait, no! Very well, then. You may proceed to give your formal testimony about what exactly happened in your cabin aboard the ship on the evening of the 31st October. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Of course, as a man of the law, I have no intention of obstructing justice. Say with a straight just... face. Say with a straight face, I dare you. I uh, gonna... don't have to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to Fortnite dance up here. I don't give I a have, fuck. I have no intention of obstructing justice. Literally one minute ago, I should have convicted you just because you're pissing me off. I, I have no intention of instructing just, obstructing justice. Turns directly around 180 degrees and winks at the camera. Uh, uh, you're winking at me. <laughs> what strong heart. <laughs> anyway. I had a guest waiting for me when I returned to my cabin after finishing my evening meal in the dining room. When I walked through the door, a mustachioed Englishman was there, foolishly waving a gun at me. I soon took care of him with an... Ipon? Ipon Seoi. Oh. He bonsai throw. Though, but yeah, okay. He couldn't wait to run away after that. I imagine his watch was broken when I threw him over my shoulder. It has nothing to do with his murder. It's weird that you didn't, like, bring this up if nothing happened then, because that seems like it would be helpful testimony for this case. I just thought of it. I mean, the inspector was clearly killed having returned to Britain because his body was found in London. I threw him so far, he flew across the channel. I'm a chuckster. <laughs> Ipon Sayui. A common jujutsu martial arts technique in my country. Ipon... What, I'll show you. <laughs> Ipon Sayui. Oh, that's fun. Ain't that the green-haired computer that beeps the songs? <laughs> Hatsune <laughs> Miku! I was careful not to use too much force, but the man obviously landed too heavily for his watch to take. So, you know, Skane Naruto. I imagine you can see the flaw in your logic now, can't you? No. Well, you see, in his lie, it means that what you said can't be true. The but... fact that the pocket watch was broken in the witness's cabin. Hazuma, do you know he's lying or do you literally not? What? Oh no! People can lie? People... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. In no way proves that the victim's murder took place there. Oh, damn ah! bitch, he got you, I uh, guess. I, no, I, I stubbed my toe. Kazuma's an idiot, but ah, ooh. No doubt ooh. the inspector intended to kill me, but he didn't manage to pull the trigger. Well, then why is there a bullet hole in your cabin, you bitch? 
Yes, because he was merely the tactician, not the Reaper's hand of death. Well, the testimony appears to make perfect sense as far as I can tell. Literally not listening. <laughs> I keep thinking he's, he's gonna on his phone. <laughs> He's just there on his phone watching TikTok. So, so funny. Oh, what? I'm Yippee. guilty. <laughs> ah, let me express my deepest gratitude for your understanding, my lord. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this German boy is delighted at his acquisition of cola. <laughs> I this is I think this is the first and only genuine yippee I've ever listen, this is outstanding. Ever, hang on. Uh, court will take a brief put this on speaker. Court will take a brief recess while I grab the ox cord so everyone can hear this little German boy. <laughs> but if this testimony holds, Judge Jagoku will be deemed to have had no involvement in the case. Luckily he's lying. <laughs> Well, counsel, I really see no reason for wasting precious court time here on another cross-examination. Yeah, well, that's not your call to make, is it? Since I'm the defense. Nope. It gives me more time on TikTok. Sorry, my lord. The defense has a right to cross-examination, and I don't intend to squander that. <laughs> You're an embarrassment to your countrymen, not knowing when you're beaten. The witness will not speak unless spoken to. <laughs> Ooh, Absolutely sorry. true. <laughs> In that case, proceed, Mr. Naruhodo. I I still really like Strongheart. He's just like, sure, go ahead. Like, he's... get it. <laughs> Whatever. God. Like, this game will salvage so much if Strongheart is actually just a guy. You are right. If, like, if you think about it, if Ryanosuke does his job and, like, proves all of this stuff and, like, everything comes to light, then that means that Strongheart's goal was fulfilled. Like, does that make sense? Not, well, re not really. Well, he's pushing specifically for forensic shit, but it like, is he, he's to, clearly still it is devoted to the, to the truth. Yeah, it is to the effect of revealing the truth and justice at all costs. And yeah. if Ryunosuke is doing it, like, without forensics prematurely, it's still, like, helping him. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's not... If, if Strongheart is innocent, then it is... There's no reason he wouldn't be like, What a delightful young man! <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Da -da -da. What does the guide say? I'm waiting. Hold it! But there's no evidence that proves the victim ever returned to London alive. Just take a moment to think think that idea of yours through now, Stripling. What? If the inspector was killed on the steamship in France, how on earth could we have how on earth could he have ben, gotten back? Someone... Just Goku, I need to tell you that boats are known for moving. <laughs> They no. can do that. What? Not when I'm on them. They call me the anchor. I thought that once you get on a boat, the entire world grinds around and the boat just stays parked. Am I wrong? That's how it works in Futurama. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> um... When people die, they are killed. Their bodies remain at the same spot. It's a devil of a thing. Motherfucker, is this your defense that <laughs> bodies aren't zombies? Like, Shut the fuck up. At least don't act smug about your stupid defense. I don't know if you know this, but gravity only goes down. Well, <laughs> like, then obviously the culprit must have moved the body. How exactly? It's too heavy. Carrying a corpse off a ship in your arms would raise a few eyebrows at least, don't you think? Weren't you found well, in a briefcase? Yeah, weren't you found in a briefcase that was human size, you motherfucker? Well, You're the jolly green giant, so we can probably <laughs> fit... <laughs> so we can probably fit Brixen in a fucking carry-on. Oh, this is one of the rare times where you guys seem angrier than I am, and I'm just loving this commentary. <laughs> sitting here like yes delight i am i'm about like 60 percent present right now the rest of me is like yeah oh like the judge <laughs> yeah yeah yes. I'm, well, I'm strong hearting it <laughs> yeah that's true but all passenger lug luggage is okay. inspected when it's unloaded from arriving vessels and I would like to think the border police would query the corpse of an english gentleman as hand luggage that's fair if the murder had taken place aboard the ship, you would imagine the body would have been disposed of at sea. <laughs> Sorry, I was yeah. just... 
I was just skimming the for the next thing in the walkthrough, and I love uh, a little bit of editorializing here. Um, you would think you could present the big trunk Jigoku was in, but it's not in the court record except for one sneaky piece of evidence. Present the photograph! <laughs> 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 That's very funny. That translates to, I'm so mad about this! There would be no sense in risking being caught by attempting to transport the body back to Britain. <sighs> That's killed that idea then. But, perhaps not. Oh, damn! Miss Suzato? Yes, hello. We've heard of the first class passengers. Hello. The first class passengers oh, wonder. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, I I tried scrolling and I forgot that advances the dialogue. Sorry, I swiped right. Keep going. <gasps> Ooh, who on? Oh, <laughs> oh you attack your justice. Attack your <laughs> <laughs> We've heard the first class passengers were under constant scrutiny by the crewman posted to guard them. I'm just picturing Strongheart on like a hyper specific Tinder, which is like, ooh, well categorized evidence lockers. That will make organizing things and solving crimes easier. Swipe right! <laughs> I wonder if he's like, Justice, ooh, love that. Swipes right. Naruhodo, look, twins, law and order. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what was Susanna saying? Who oh, cares? <laughs> so transporting the body back to Britain may have been the only viable alternative. I love you can tell the exact latency between Will making a joke and chat getting it because of how fast they all respond at once. <laughs> Dear me, you really are new to this, aren't you? Yes. I thought I'd been perfectly clear. But it seems I'm going to have to explain it in words you can understand. I'm guilty. <laughs> I think I ought to alter my testimony. With your consent, of course, my lord. Whatever. I have no objection. State your amended testimony now. I don't give a fuck. Oh, Constitution. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You think you could prevent the trunk, but you can't. Oh, that would have made me oh, so been... angry. <laughs> oh. Man. Oh. Man. Oh. Fuck that. Oh. I, I mean, I guess it was wow. weird that that commemorative photo was in the court record at all. So, so, I'm gonna toot my own horn here and say that the fact that I didn't even notice that, like, look at the picture again. That is not framed well enough. Like my my artist eye is like, nah, wouldn't got it. Nah, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's whatever. I, I knew this photograph would be important, but I thought it was going to be like because there's a clock in the background and it would show mm -hmm. a time of like things. You can't present the banana. You have to present the photo the of, the banana. of the banana. There's no possible penalty. Way. Penalty. <laughs> There's no possible way. That was so funny because that's Elsie Lovelock, and I had to coach mm -hmm. her how to say banana without a British accent. And banana. It took, it took like 20 minutes. <laughs> he he. There's no possible way you could have moved Inspector Gregson's body, you say. I would say the opposite is true. There is a way. And what's that supposed to mean? Ooh, I'm curious. <laughs> Fuck, I, I love this strong heart so much. She really tickles me. <laughs> Far from being impossible for you to do, by tra- What? Wait, whatever, who cares? The transporting of Inspector Gregson's body back to Britain is something only you could do. What are you talking about, Ryudosuke? As well as being a judge, Mr. Jigoku is also Japan's Minister of Foreign Affairs, which means he's exempt from having- do Sorry, do we know this? I don't know. Yes, Wait. because Jigoku got in quick. Remember? You're um, right, you're right, him fair. Mentioned. You're correct. Yeah. Which means he's exempt from having his luggage searched when he enters the country. All right, that's, that's well set up. Props for that. We learned that when he first met you upon... Uh, yeah, exactly what Sim just said. Exclamation mark. In case, in case you forgot about how subtle this is, why don't you implicate yourself? Ah, oh, I knew you were jealous. <laughs> why, why would you include that there if you knew that the player was going to pick it anyway? The player already knows that. You don't need to flash back to it. 
they're showing how clever they were. I presume you... I actually don't mind that. I am still annoyed about the suitcase pr presenting thing. That really would have fucked me had I not been playing this with a guide. I presume you recall this, Judge Jigoku. Also, person in chat, we are not complaining that we can't present Gregson's trunk because we know it's not Gregson's trunk. We're complaining that that photograph is really hard, like easy to miss, that it mentions yeah. Jigoku's trunk. Pay attention, please. Don't get mad at us. It's a photograph we took in the foyer of the hotel to mark the occasion. As the court will note, you have with you your large travel trunk. Large enough, in fact, to have a corpse inside. B -b 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 you can't mean! I can! Three days ago, when we were chatting innocently with the new arrivals from Japan in the hotel, the body of Inspector Gregson was just meters away from us, inside Judge Jigoku's oh. trunk. That's pretty fucked up. That's, that's fucked up. Wouldn't that smell? They had no. ice in it. Uh, yeah, yeah, they they cooled it. Oh! And... Order, oh, order, you're right. order in the court. I'm skeptical, counsel, that a grown man's body could fit inside even the largest travel trunk. I actually don't think they might have ice in there, but I think uh, they they probably used the fridge on the boat in the meantime yeah. that's they mentioned there was a fridge on the boat but i don't think they mentioned there was a fridge on the boat and there was all that ice in his room already yeah mm -hmm. it could because i happen to know that the witness himself a man of considerable size fits inside this trunk and verifying that would be extremely simple wouldn't it judge jigoku that turned into nathan for a second girl girl but, but inside his trunk Oh, horrifying. And after we'd spoken with you at the Great Waterloo Hotel, you had the opportunity to visit the apparent scene on Fresno Street, taking your trunk with you in a cab to deposit the inspector's body. I don't have to listen to this nonsense. You do. We're in court. Dr. Gory, oh! Dr. Gory, who should get her ass in this trial again, please. Uh, the coroner who examined the body has confirmed the possibility. I'm too busy on TikTok. <laughs> this little plague doctor bitch is my favorite! <laughs> She's acknowledged there are signs that steps may have been taken to disguise the true time of death. The onset of the body's decomposition could have been delayed by storing it in a refrigerator. Counsel, as I remember explaining yesterday, refrigerators of the requisite size are few and far between. Yes, I'm sure they are. But one place they're certainly found is on large ocean liners. Such ships yeah. are equipped with electrically... Like, I, I I, should point out we're complaining about a lot here. I do think this whole setup is very cool. It's just something... Yeah, no, cool. this makes sense. It's, yeah. it's just the way you have to present it is a little annoying. Um, it's a little sneaky. Uh, cold rooms to keep... Food. And, like, it's so weird because if that photo were the only place the trunk was, I'd buy it. But when you have the actual trunk, it's like, please just let me show them this and be like, remember the trunk? They... Yeah. Ace Attorney does this a reason, lot. I guess the mm -hmm. only reason you it is because you never actually found the trunk. It was Shomsa Mikotobo that did. I guess, but Ryanosuke seems to know it anyway for some reason. Um, well, they told they told him that's where he found. Yeah, so why wouldn't that be part of the trunk's description at that point? Anyway. Uh, you don't have the trunk in your inventory. Yeah, we do. No, it's Gregson's trunk. That's Gregson's oh, you're right, trunk. you're right. My bad. Yep, yep. Such ships are equipped with electrically refrigerated cold rooms to keep food fresh on their long sea voyages. And the SS Grouse is no exception. Professor Mikotoba told me on about it. He say words. Well, Jigoku. Well, how much? <laughs> how much you prolong this? Yes! Place. You can't! Slay! <laughs> Points to you! I don't think that's a slay. I think that's like a... Like a... Eh. Very well, let me try something else. Quay, Queen, Quay. What? <laughs> what? Do you remember Quay? No. A claw. What was it from the Pokemon game that we did? What are you talking about? Quagsway? The, the, yeah, yeah, the Quagsire from. Quay? Uh, <laughs> Is Quag. that. Oh, it's. Qu <laughs> <laughs> a moment of silence. Will, are you saying things? <laughs> they killed him. Honey. Oh, it muted me. Why did it do that? <laughs> Discord is like, you are so wrong that you must die. God, I even was correcting myself. I was just Quay. like, 
Quag. Yes, I meant Quag. That's what I forgot. Fuck. In any case, <laughs> you win some, you lose some. <laughs> well, this is all very heartening. This this game will not stop bullying, Will. <laughs> I can see that it was a wise move letting Asagi and you embark on this study tour. What are you talking about now? What is your endgame, Kazuma? Logical reasoning, of course. All court proceedings will be built on logical reasoning in the new century. Except ours. And I can see that you both laid firm foundations for that already. <laughs> Judge Jigoku, please stop diverting attention from the issue at hand. The defense has made an accusation against you. How do you respond? Quay! <laughs> I, I deserve it. Naps. Respond? There's really no need for me to respond, is that Jesus fuck, man. Why ever not? Because Discord muted me. <laughs> because before you can even begin to answer the question of when the victim was killed, you must first establish one key fact. When is my birthday? Where was the victim? It's quite logical. Come on. The actual scene of the crime. The prosecution's stance is unaltered. The killing took place on Fresno Street when the gunshot was heard. As the accused, Barak Van Zeeks, shot the victim at point blank range. Since no tangible evidence exists to disprove the prosecution's claim at this time, the defense's deductions amount to little more than an elaborate fairy tale. I'm afraid that's how the logical reasoning. Wait, that's how the logical reasoning the British are known for really works, young stripling. If Shums was a better character from like the rafters of the audience chamber, he would have just um, thrown a little paper airplane and if you unfolded it, it would have been a photo of the bullet hole in Judge Jigoku's cabin. You are yeah. right. The victim was shot in that little room on Fresno Street and died instantly. I'm afraid it's the prosecution's claim that's the only fairy tale here. How can you say that? I legitimately don't know, please tell me. Quite simply, because the claim directly contradicts a certain piece of evidence in our possession. Let's look through our evidence just to find out. Very tantalizing, counsel. I think you had better explain yourself to the court, don't you? The prosecution claims that Inspector Gregson died instantly when he was shot at the scene on Fresno Street. But this evidence clearly contradicts that claim. Okay. It is. Oh, uh, it's gory. Her thing is un. Uh, da, 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 da. uh no. No. Uh? It's the photograph of the body. What for God. real? It's this. I don't know why. Take that. You'll find out, I guess. A photograph of the victim in the very location you claim he wasn't killed. Oh, it's because he's all curled up. Yes, but th that's clever, actually. The point is the posture of the body itself. There's no way his body could be like that. If Inspector Gregson had been shot there in that room, it's out of the question his body would be curled up in a ball like that. Is it out of the question? I don't think so, bro. You get shot in the stomach, you're gonna go, oog. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but your logic is flawed. He could easily have adopted the the feet that fetal position uh due to the pain of the shot which subsists up fuck me it hurt man i'm sorry to disappoint you judge jigoku but it's your logic that's flawed what according to this autopsy report the victim died instantly he would have felt no pain much less been able to draw himself into that position uh. which begs the question of why the victim's body is curled up that way Though the answer should be abundantly clear by now. He was cold. <laughs> you're... you're suggesting... The inspector's body took on that position ahead of its arrival on Fresno Street, before it was coldly turned out on the floor from the inside of a large travel trunk. No! No, oh, sorry, am I speaking? I was making my bed. <laughs> you're quite right! The shape of the body... It looks exactly as if it had been kept in a confined space. See, all this, this is good. Judge Jigoku, present your trunk for examination. I believe it's very possible that it will contain traces of the victim's blood. Why don't we just uh, do this in the first place? Yeah. I don't want it! No, 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 I don't want it. my trunk 
I refuse. That'll prove it. What? <laughs> On what grounds? I don't wanna. I'm the Minister of Foreign Affairs from the Empire of Japan. I shouldn't have to put up with this treatment just because of some stripling's baseless accusations. Oh yes, well unfortunately we're British and we don't care what foreigners think. Give me the trunk! In other words, Judge Jigoku... Oh, there is blood on it. Something! Sorry. Sorry. I decline to answer that. Objection. Shut up. Ooh. At this moment, you're not a government minister. You are a witness in a trial in Britain's highest court. I don't care who you are or what your status outside this courtroom might be. You will not withhold information. Nothing is more important than the truth. Ugh. Ugh. Nice to see Ryanosuke standing up for logic for once. Order! Mm. Order in the court! Oh, that was a lot! Well, Mr. Jagoku, what's it to be? You can't be serious. You did it! So what's your endgame, Kazuma? Have you no shame at all, Kazuma Asagi? No! Objection, he's misdirecting for no fucking reason. Okay! Very well. I admit it. Great! Guilty! Court adjourned! <laughs> I best my Man fucking- Zeke's, you're free to go! What? I did bring the inspector's body into the country. But he someone just... else what? killed what? him! Did somebody call me? What? Inside my trunk. Exactly as postulate as postulated by the defense. What? You Dear God, that's a lie. So it was you okay, that just happened. Okay, well he's gonna he's gonna be like, No, I didn't kill him, but Zeke still killed him, and then we're gonna have to be like, but we saw him at the club. Rah Anyway. Yeah. Hot milky. No, oh, alright. Of killing the man, I certainly have no recollection. What on earth is that cryptic <laughs> oh, statement I, supposed to mean? I didn't really mean to kill him, it was an accident. I merely disposed of the inspector's body, which was left in my cabin. Why did yeah. you do yeah. that? In order to avoid unwanted attention. Mm, okay. Innocent. <laughs> Sounds judicial... like something an innocent person would say. As the judicial assistant over there pointed out, I had no chance to throw oh, it into the you ocean. Don't you turn my words around on me, you slut! You have so much chance to throw it into the ocean once you get off the boat, just throw it into the ocean! <laughs> Why would you set it up in this random house? Um, I decided my only option was to bring it into Britain with me and dispose of it somewhere else. That's so you mad. So you option? just picked this random house that happened to be Gregson's, like, house of operations? You, what a coincidence. You, you can't still deny it. If you didn't do it, then who on earth did kill the man? As uh, you know, Mikotoba. As you know, there was one other person in my cabin that night. He had the opportunity. It was I, Oh, don't you Hosanaga. go after my papa, though. No, he's going after, oh. Yeah, he's going after and moreover, Kazuma. Yeah, okay, he's going after Kazuma. Okay. And moreover, he'd already accepted a mission to take the inspector's life. Kazuma wouldn't use a gun. That's right. Who else could it have been? It was you, Kazuma Asagi. It it wasn't that you. <laughs> Period. I never thought you'd stoop to this, Seishiro Jigoku. Can we? Can is trial's over, right? Van Zeeks is innocent? Just throwing that out there? If... Van Zeeks hanging upside down? Oh, what, I'm innocent? <laughs> <laughs> You've taken the words straight out of my mouth, Prosecutor Kazuma Asagi. Yo, I really- I, got... I love the person in chat who posted the entire phase of the movie. <laughs> Devotion! <laughs> it's very funny. Look at you, waxing, waning, <laughs> gibbous, beautiful. <laughs> I'll swipe right to that. <laughs> You thought by leaving the body in my cabin, you could pin the crime on me, did you? Sure. <laughs> well, prosecution counsel has already admitted to visiting the witness's cabin on the night in question. Yes, on an assassination mission, no less. Uh, yeah, we should follow up on this, but I do want to point out that earlier, 
you said we shouldn't bother with this assassination mission and as, as it has nothing to do with the, the court and it should be in another trial. So, trial's over, right? Van Zeeks no, is innocent. Over. Yeah, Feel like yeah, it's yeah, over. Yeah. Feel like uh, yeah. either you're uh, a little bit of a double standard going on or trial's over. Trial's over? Strong heart? Trial's over? Sorry. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, I, 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 keep going. No, strong heart. No, no, it's fun. Listen, <laughs> it's, listen. It's, it, this is kind of fun. We're having if, fun, if, right? Everyone's if I here together. Real, I guess I'm, I I'm having a little fun. I guess I'm having a little fun. <laughs> hey, hey, I mean, I'm, I'm being accused of murder again, but I'm having a little fun. We don't care what you think. I know your hair isn't okay. long enough to, your hair isn't long enough to twirl. Lean over and twirl my hair when you do that. I'm just so you can have the experience. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll admit, I was just hoping for a fun boys' morning, and wow, has it been rocking! <laughs> boys' <so far>. morning! <laughs> yeah, boys' morning! Boy, boys' morning! Red sky you know, in the morning! The boys' warning! It's the counterpart to girls' night! I know. Yeah. Wouldn't. You wouldn't. Rob, what do you make of that, young stripling? <laughs> Kazuma really be like, I can't believe the panthers would eat my face, said man who threw his lot in with the pan face eating panther party. You've heard my testimony now, and that's all I have to say on the matter. I'll admit to nothing. Uh, dirt blankies. I don't believe this. Counsel for the defense. What is your position now? Court awaits your response to the witness's assertion, I guess. The assertion that on the night in question, the victim's assailant was in fact Mr. Kasuma Asagi. This isn't the e dead end it seems to be. The answer's right it's in front of me. It's not a dead end. It comes down to Jigoku or Kasuma. Both of them had the opportunity to kill Gregson, but only one of them did it. Oh boy, how we go. <laughs> and I'm just a step away from proving who. Very well. The defense is ready to respond to the assertion put forward by Judge Jigoku. The idea that the victim's murder could have been committed by Prosecutor Asagi. Oh, it's impossible. Because he wouldn't have used a gun. Judge Jigoku, let me remind you of something you said only a few minutes ago. You claim that logical reasoning is the future of the judicial process. It is, no question. Well, logical reasoning can prove something here. Namely that it would have been impossible for Prosecutor Asagi to commit the crime. What? I don't know. The court will only accept an argument that is supported by compelling evidence. So present what you have, counsel. What proof is there that allegedly demonstrates the impossibility of Prosecutor Asagi's involvement? Uh, this... well, I don't know. The itinerary for crew members of the SS Grouse, my lord. This is conclusive proof. An itinerary? How does that prove anything? Judge Jigoku, the moment you acknowledged that you found the victim's body in your cabin, this itinerary suddenly became much more significant. What? Why? On the night in question, as always, a crewman sentry was on guard outside your cabin door. As long as he was there, nobody could have fired a shot inside the cabin. Absolutely, because it's inconceivable that the guard wouldn't have heard it and come to investigate. So that tells us that the crime must have taken place when the guard was elsewhere. And that narrows it down to 20 minutes just after 10 o'clock, as indicated on the itinerary. Yes, I see no flaw in your reasoning so far. But the crucial point is this. When the evacuation drill took place, the steamship had already put to sea from the port of Dunkirk. Ah. Uh. Now, clearly, the murder could have only been committed by someone who was aboard the vessel at the time. But Prosecutor Asagi stated in yesterday's proceedings... Oh, right. He got mm -hmm. off there and mm -hmm. he boarded the next morning. Yeah. I didn't come to Great Britain to take anyone's life. So I left Gregson and disembarked the ship. I spent that night at a boarding house in the town and returned to England the following morning. Which I'm sure the court will agree is conclusive proof that Kazuma Asagi couldn't possibly have carried out the killing. Yeah! I like, how, I like how we had to point that out, not Kazuma. <laughs> Kazuma Being so like, stupid. I wasn't even on the ship then. Yeah. You bitch. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I don't accept that at all. What do you mean? <laughs> are, are you eating? 
Yeah. Cool. Like I wanted the um, Strongheart gives the muffins to everyone he likes. Pans around court and everyone but Jigoku has one. I'm Honestly, you've earned a baker's dozen at this point. This has been exhilarating. <laughs> listen, listen, as a guy, as a guy who lives in an era with no TV yet, mm, beautiful. Mm. The boy's just saying that to exonerate himself. We can't trust that he really disembarked the vessel. What I mean, I could mean? say that about everything you've said. Ooh, obviously after he left my cabin, he hid himself somewhere nearby on the ship. Obviously. Shut up. Mm. No, it's out of the question. Isn't it, Kazuma? As the defense rightly recalls, I disembarked the vessel and spent the night in a boarding house in Dunkirk. And as I said yesterday, I signed my name in the accommodations register book. All extremely easy to verify and undeniable proof. No, I... There's no escape this time. You can forget that you're a judge or a government minister. What? Wait, hang on. I, I you can't forget. You can't. No, it's you can. Oh, you can. Oh, okay. Oh, he's saying, like, forget oh. that you're a man of the law. <laughs> you're <laughs> fucked. I, I literally read this as, it's time you gave the court an honest answer, common man. <laughs> you killed Inspector Tobias Gregson and transported his corpse back to Britain. Then you dumped the body in the room on Fresno Street and made it look as if the murder had happened there. That's what really happened, isn't it, Seishiro Jigoku? It was that damn trial ten years ago. That's when all this began. It's auto reading, Benzie so. snaps awake. Looking back now, my fate was decided that day. I was doomed already. He's gonna blow! <laughs> ah! oh, he broke it again. He broke it again? Whoa. Oh. oh, okay. So, I thought we were gonna get a fucking limit break there for a sec. It's over. My life is over. So, no, you're not getting a cupcake. Probably you, I think. A British assassin to eliminate a professor in Japan. A Japanese assassin to eliminate a detective in Britain. Both assassins will use diplomatic immunity to evade conviction and return safely to their homelands. The assassination exchange request arrived from Britain about one year ago. Though it was hardly a request, it was a demand. And for that, you decided to recruit Mr. Asagi. Insane choice. But things didn't go according to plan. Your chosen assassin never made it to Britain, and you found yourself unable to dispatch a replacement because I was already on my way to Britain at the time in Cosma's place. That left me with only one option for carrying out my obligation. To eliminate the mark myself, personally. Why did it take you a year? I'm bad at this. Of course, there was but a single opportunity for me to do so. The Internasic, the, the symposium, I presume. Okay, that's fair. That's right. I decided it would be safest to carry out the plan before my arrival in Britain, so I enlisted the help of my British counterpart and made arrangements for a pretext that would take the inspector to Dunkirk. To lure the man in, he was given a sham mission by the Reaper. Wh what The Reaper? Who's that? There's only one person who could have done that. The mastermind of the entire operation, the Reaper himself. Yeah, but you're still going on about that, Kazuma. Yeah, but you have literally so... no proof that it's fancy. <laughs> that means the assassination exchange was. I messed that sentence up. It was all planned by the Reaper? Yeah. I'm not at liberty to say anything about my British counterpart. Because, Hello! Like, you know. Anyway, the inspector ins accepted the Reaper's mission and dutifully infiltrated my cabin on the steamship. But it was all a trap designed to lead him to France, and his own death. Oh, how awful. It was past nine o'clock when I returned to my cabin from the dining hall that evening. I didn't give him a time to attack me. I choked him until he lost consciousness. Uh? But there was a guard just outside the door, so I left it at that for the time being. Even the slightest noise might have aroused suspicion, 
so I bided my time, waiting. For the 20 minutes after 10 o'clock. I had intended to finish him by strangulation, but moments before I had the chance, he suddenly came round and went for me in a reckless move. Why did you stop strangling him the first time? Yeah, why wouldn't you just finish it? Like... Oh man, my thumbs are tired. Hmm. This guy's got rock hard arteries in his neck. It's a, there's fish blocking me veins. <laughs> <laughs> you almost saved me, coronary bypass. <laughs> I've received the British issue gun 16 years earlier, being a member of the judiciary huh. as a visiting student. Crazy. I never imagined I'd have to use it for something like that. They don't ask you to give the gun back when you leave? That's insane. So the revolver belongs to you, does it? I like Amazing how we still don't know what happened to Van Zeke's gun. He just lost it. <laughs> then the victim was killed inside your cabin on the SS Grouse, which begs the question of why you arranged for his body to be discovered in the room on Fresno Street. The young judicial assistant over there has already answered that question. There was no way I could take the body up on deck to throw it over the side. That's precisely where all the crewmen were gathered for the evacuation drill. Then wait until after you leave. So before the first class cabin sentries returned, I took the corpse to the refrigeration room. That's insane that no one found it in there. And then, on arriving in Dover, you concealed the body in your trunk. To... And then, after hiding in the body in the freezer, you waited 18 years for the Statute of Limitation to go out so you could bring it back out and have it thaw as a statue to lure the original killer. What? That sounds like the dumbest case I've ever heard. <laughs> and then, yes. on arriving in Dover, you concealed the body in your trunk in order to smuggle it past the border police. I knew I needed to take steps if the police were to be convinced when the body was found in London. In that case, you must have known. You must have had intimate details on Inspector Gregson's intended schedule. Yes. My British counterpart sent me everything I needed to know. The inspector was due at Fresno Street at 5 o'clock that afternoon, in order to meet a man by the name of Hugh Boone, from whom he would take back his police identification. <sighs> I decided that man would be the perfect person to set up as the culprit. So I took a hackney... So I took a hackney carriage over there with the body still in my trunk. So I'm hoping that the British counterpart is Sean Connery. So that... Mostly so that Strongheart gets off scot free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that must have been just after we took the photograph with you at the hotel then. I am here. I. Yes, I wasn't expecting a welcoming party. Welcoming committee. I was more than a little nervous. On Fresno Street, I spotted a young girl selling little firecrackers. Miss Venus, of course. I love that bitch. I conceived of the candle trick there and then. That's really smart. Mm. So I donned a simple disguise and approached the girl to buy enough firecrackers to replicate a gunshot. What kind of disguise? What you're, sort of disguise? You're like a six foot five Japanese man. For some reason, the inspector had a bright red hairpiece <gasps> in his traveling case. You uh, did not. I uh, I love that the the witnesses saw him entering this place wearing the red wig, and they were like, "That's him. It's Inspector Gregson. He's the exact same size as the man we saw." Beard and all! No, oh, I put that on Gregson's body and puppeteered him towards the girl. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like right behind him. Excuse me, miss! I... I would honestly prefer that. <laughs> yeah, this is... This is this is a weird, dumb point. So I put that on. And though I suspect I drew more attention to myself in that than I would have otherwise. The hairpiece we found at the scene. The inspector had it ready for the, uh, ready for the red-headed league investigation. I only arrived at the room at around quarter to five. So I quickly placed the body on the floor, moved the notice board, and set up a little candle trick. I arranged it so the firecrackers would go off with the bang of around 15 minutes later. So that Mr. Boone, who was due to arrive at five, would walk straight into a trap. Except 
At the last moment, I made a careless blunder. Would he have known about Boone? Yeah, because his counterpart in England told him about him. Oh, okay. Imagine, or I imagine it was the bag of fish and chips. Ah! I didn't notice that it had fallen out of his overcoat pocket when I moved the body to the refrigeration room. I put it back into his pocket the following morning, but, well, it seems the warmth of the heated Eat. cabin had accelerated the decay of you the fish. Why would you away? not just throw it away? <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. Why would you put it back in the coat? Because Gregson's anyway. never found without his chippy. <laughs> I Maybe. mean, I think you could get away with he didn't have it this time. Or buy a new one and put it next to He him. didn't have it. This is a setup. Damn. <laughs> oh, anyway, that's, uh... That's it. That's everything. All the sordid details of what I did. Damn. It was uh, some parts were good. A lot of that was cool. Uh, dropped the ball at the end there, bud. Wow. Mmm. Great birthday. So oh, sorry. Wasn't paying attention. Are we still mad at Zeke's? <laughs> okay. Well, I've heard enough. According to the guide, yes. <laughs> We've arrived at the truth about the murder of one of the country's most capable and respected police inspectors. The witness will be tried in the coming days. For a crime such a vile nature, crime of such a vile nature, you can expect the most severe penalty. I'm, I'm wondering why he isn't naming his British counterpart since he's definitely going to die and it's clear he doesn't like mind throwing other people under the bus since he tried to mm -hmm. blame Kazuma. Because mm -hmm. the game's got to be longer. Yes, that is the answer. Cool. An exchange of assassins. <clears throat> what a foolhardy idea. Mr. Chigoku, one last detail. One more. Who was your counterpart in Britain? Who was the mastermind behind the assassin exchange? Nothing you say now can make matters any worse for you. Just tell us. Enough! I've already told you that I cannot say. Even though, as things stand, you may never you may very well never set foot in your homeland again. What are you waiting for? Can't we get this over with now? It's finished. All of it. I'm finished. Then, in the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I now pronounce the findings of this court. This man before us has admitted to the willful murder of Tobias Gregson. Not guilty. Seishiro Jigoku, it is the opinion of this court that you should be found. Guilty. Oops, this was Van Zeeks' trial. Well, I already banged the gavel. You lose. <laughs> and may I remind all those present of the strict confidentiality demanded by this close court. Go! Shoot, we're done. Get out. All right, one more thing. <laughs> Moments ago, Mr. Jagoku signed a written confession admitting to the murder of Inspector Gregson and the subsequent conveyance of the body. In short, the defendant's innocence has therefore been established beyond doubt. How wonderful! Well done, Mr. Naruhodo! Yes, um, thank you. It's funny because, like, I don't think any of the pieces of evidence of this trial were, like, unfair in, in like, just being like, oh yeah, this is the contradiction to this, but, like, yeah, yeah. all of them were very tricky things to like remember to be like this is like it's it's clearly designed to be hard since it's the last trial yeah but it's very funny because i think in terms of like if you were a real lawyer in court this one would be so fucking easy <laughs> yeah no you you dunk this so fast is something wrong i'm just a little troubled by his silence the true identity of the reaper of the bailey and this extraordinary ex assassin exchange. We do remain in the dark about these mysteries. However, 
Insofar as the indictment brought against the defendant in this trial, we have reached a conclusion. I have every intention of pursuing both mysteries. As a prosecutor? Good, Cosmo is fired! <laughs> as you wish, now, for the formal adjudication. Objection. I hereby declare that... What is your oh. damage, Kazuma? Well, you know his damage, and he's stupid about it. Prosecution calls for adjudication to be deferred. Counsel? You see, Will plays all the racist characters, and Yam plays all the moons. Mm. <laughs> innocence hasn't been fully established at all. Maybe you should come up with some evidence to back that claim up then, Kazuma. Bitch! Yeah, I'm running out of cupcakes. You better have something, Cupcake, because this is, um, a lot. And therefore, it would be wrong to deliver a verdict at this time. That is the prosecution's unwavering position. All right, well, you lost, Sookas. <laughs> but shut up! Nevertheless, Eric Van Zies has committed crimes for which he must be punished. Says who, bro? Evidence! Well, it would appear you have information that the court needs to hear, Prosecutor Oski, so... How about evidence? Uh, Chad is correct. Yam plays Moon Man and Best Girls. <laughs> Ow. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's okay, it was probably something stupid. Certainly the murder of Inspector Gregson was actually carried out by Seishiro Jigoku. But it's clear from the witness's testimony that he was coerced into complying with the plot into the sick, merciless assassin exchange. You are the assassin. <laughs> that may be true, but... So what I want to know is who coerced Jigoku? Who was pulling the strings? I don't know, Kazuma. This sounds like a different uh, court case, though. <laughs> the victim went to France having been ordered on a mission for the Reaper, only to be murdered. In other words, the mastermind behind the assassin exchange is someone in a position to give such an order. So not the re- he's- why- he can't So be, not- He's a so prosecutor. <laughs> he's a prosecutor! That's- that's he's some- He's just a lawyer! That's some I'm Japanese writing where in Japan prosecutors can give orders to cops. <laughs> As we've already established, the Reaper himself. No, well, no! <laughs> certainly, that would appear to follow. No, get, look up on your phone! Strong heart, mm -hmm. please! What? What? No, 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 I didn't hit the gavel yet. Keep going. The no! The prosecution hereby formally accuses the man in the dock, Barak von Zeeks, of being the Reaper of the Bailey, and furthermore, I'm gonna prove his guilt beyond all reasonable doubt. Please, oh, please do it. <laughs> you know. Have my bats carry him to the ocean? Mm -hmm. Order! Well, you can't order, just dump a body in the ocean. You have to hide it in a specific house. Yup. You're. Um, this is a different case. You need to open up a different court case for this, Kazuma. Can we go home, please? The Reaper of the Bailey is a long-standing <laughs> mystery council. I wanted to make a joke. It's so stupid. Just like. I guess I don't mind, seeing as my birthday is all week. And it's like, it took, it was a long birthing process. Oh, God. I earned it. Are you suggesting- Yeah, I'm sure it was really was... hard on you, the baby. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I deserved overtime. Are you suggesting you have some new information with which to build a case? No. Like the whole, like the whole thing? Besides, I think so. Oh, is that me? Sorry, I'm filing my nails in the other room. Scotland Yard has already investigated Lord Van Zeeks very thoroughly in that regard, and they found no evidence whatsoever to substantiate the claim that he is the Reaper. Perhaps. The that may be so. Changed. In what it way? Too. It's already been established that the assassin exchange was negotiated with Jigoku by the Reaper himself. I don't think he even said that. He didn't. He just said it was his counterpart. He didn't say it was the Reaper, Kazuma. Which means we now have a new line of questioning by which to identify definitively the man's identity. That the prosecution's... That is the prosecution's intention here. 
I must say I'm surprised. I taught you very badly. By quite... By quite how tenaciously you appear to want to besmirch my name. You are guilty of an unforgivable crime, Lord Renzies. Load out your ass, Cosima. And I will bring you to justice for it, whatever it takes. You didn't even know him. <laughs> your dad was guilty of his crimes. Shut up. That explains Cosima's silence before. He'll stop at nothing to finish what Lord Van Zeke's unwittingly started ten years ago. I didn't... I j Bro, I am just... I am just standing here. Hey! Gonna pop in real quick. Very well. Whilst it's extremely irregular... Oh no, we found another plate of cup and cakes! Yes, they were brought to me by a, 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 an anonymous person. Hmm, thank you, Asagi. I will, on this occasion, grant the prosecution further opportunity for witness testimony. Oh, damn. Asagi's really good at baking. His cupcakes are second to none. They're my second favorite thing of his to eat. <laughs> the what? defendant will disclose any and all involvement he has nothing, had with nothing. the Reaper. Nothing, I'm just filing my nails here. <laughs> Don't worry about me. And the assassin exchange. Thank you, my lord, for guiding the court so wisely. Oh, I have to. There's a lot of oh, astronauts. No! I threw a pillow at Al. I didn't know he was there. I tossed what? a pillow on him. Why did you do that? He was Go like, team. I, I, no! Put me away. Put me behind bars. I'm guilty. You. Jail for Siv. No! My sweet boy. I hereby declare this court to be in session for a supplementary hearing. You're yeah. in hell. I'm in hell. What the fuck? Gray, turn a blind eye to the discourtesy as I verify that this vile and unremitting accusation hasn't soured the contents of my hallowed chalice. Lord I like, the, uh, I like that the thing that Jigoku broke is back. That's fine. They got a new my... one. They brought in a new one. I have carpentry bats. <laughs> I first had to suffer the pseudonym of the Reaper ten years ago. And ever since that time, I've endured the weight of implied guilt that's gone with it. Man, I'd love you if you weren't racist. So I welcome the chance to testify now and crush those allegations once and for all. Good. Then let justice decide, Lord Van Zeeks. I did! Innocent! No, wait, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Prosecution seeks to begin building its case by calling the accused to the stand as the primary witness in order that he may answer the accusation brought by the prosecution that he is the Reaper of the Bailey. And what says the defense? Putting the defendant in the witness stand can be extremely dangerous. Sorry. Because he might defend himself and just be right. Mm-hmm. And Kazuma-sama is so emotional at the moment, it's, he's not thinking logically. Also, Good, then it'll be easier to disprove him. He really shouldn't be prosecuting, this is absurd. You're right that he's not himself. But I knew it would be like this, and I came here today, today determined to face him through whatever might arise. Oof. As a lawyer and as his friend. Then that's what we must do. Get new friends, Rinosuke. The defense has no objection, my lord. The dick can't be worth this. Very well, defendant. You will take the witness stand and give formal testimony on the subject of your involvement with the Reaper and the Assassin Exchange. As you wish, my lord. Walks up. I had fuck and all to do with it. Yeah, Why fair don't enough. you... Do, do you have any evidence? What am I even... You didn't ask me any questions. How am I supposed to refute this? I've never taken the life of another, nor have I instructed another to kill. I've been investigating the truth behind the Reaper for years, and I was aware of Gregson's involvement. That's the reason why I went to Fresno Street that day, and how I came to discover the body. The point is, no common thread exists between myself, Gregson, and Dr. Wilson. Clearly, therefore, 
There's no reason to suspect me of being behind the assassin exchange. So now what we should do is go, correct. No further questions, your honor. So you deny all accusations, both that you are the Reaper of the Bailey and that you mastermind the assassin exchange. I acknowledge that the public at large believe me to be the Reaper. However, that's a fallacy, which I alone am in the position to forswear. Naturally, the prosecution believes the testimony just given by the accused to be untrue. Needs. Well, Ryunosuke go. Naruhodo. Yes? Let me ask you, why are you here? What really... What are you, what are you, what? Do you, you man? Do you, do you actually you not know? I'm, well, I'm, I'm looking for ideas for myself. Oh my God. Are you stalling? Oh my God. Pro is prosecution stalling? Oh my God. I think he's stalling, Strongy. I think he's stalling. You call me Strongy? I've never had a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's a little crazy that he's not going to realize he's ruined another person's life because of his, uh, his, uh, all this, all that. A desire to uncover the truth. Even if the truth proves your client to be guilty? Yeah, I did that in the third case of the last game, remember? I guess you don't because you disappeared to the moon. <laughs> From all my experiences in this courtroom, I've come to realize something. The truth can't be hidden. Sooner or later, it will come out. Unless you have a lot of money. So it's always my intention to work with my client in pursuit of the truth. I want you to remember what you just said. Still stalling, aren't you? Yeah, I'm correct! Enough dilatory chatter. Counsel for the defense, proceed to cross-examine the witness. I please. don't want to. I have nothing right. to find here. Why would I do Can that? I call- You called me Strongy. Can I call you Ryu? Is that okay? Yes. <laughs> oh! Uh, yes, Strongy. I know exactly what you're thinking, Kazuma. I know you're just waiting to point it out. The contradict in your contradiction you're convinced lies somewhere within this man's testimony. Whoever he is. We went to college. You know me. What is this what? setup? What? Yeah, what is... What is... Why... Why are we even doing this? I don't know. Ryunosuke should just be like, no. I have no questions. Yeah. Honestly, it's, that's yeah, it's really... Yeah, the autopsy all... report. Objection. For some reason... I am objecting to you. What is this? An autopsy report? Wait, this is ten years old. From the autopsy of Lord Clint Van Zeeks, his <gasps> brother, Clint! What? My brother Clint's autopsy report? I'm pleased to see the defense doesn't intend to run from the undeniable truth. Okay. What? What truth? That they, like... They happened He's, to bump again. He said that there was no connection between him and Dr. Wilson. Yeah, I know. Wilson was the coroner. Literally, what is the direction of this? Why, no, who no. are we shooting here? Like, I don't, I, it's just like you, like, it's just like, oh, I didn't know he was the coroner there. And it's like, yes, he killed Gregson, the man who solved his brother's murder. Like, what are the you- The game is- it's weird because it's like the game is letting Kazuma lead you, even though logistically you- wouldn't let that happen. Why doesn't wouldn't... Kazuma present this evidence? Why are we presenting it? Order in court. <laughs> what reason do you have for presenting a 10-year-old autopsy report here, counsel? I don't know, your honor, Strongy. This, Ooh. the autopsy report of the professor's final victim, is an indelible link between Inspector Gregson, Dr. Wilson, and the defendant. Ryanosuke, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you doing him this? Ryanosuke, what are you doing? What are pick you doing? The, pick up the walkie-talkie bat, I'm talking to you. I Not just... that accursed name again. The Professor. Oh, sorry. I've personally researched all of the court records relating to that case. I know that at the time, autopsy was considered sacrilege to the victim's souls. And for a member of the aristocracy like Lord Clint Van Zeeks, it was unthinkable. 
But someone implored the powers that be to allow the autopsy to go ahead, Inspector Gregson. He declared that he was certain he would obtain conclusive proof from the procedure. Oh, sorry, I was reading another chat because my brain is like, hey, man, what the fuck? And it was Dr. Wilson who conducted the autopsy. His signature is clearly visible on the document. As promised by Gregson, the autopsy did indeed produce evidence. Evidence that conclusively proved Genshin Asugi was guilty of the murders. In my brother's dying moments, he mustered all his remaining strength to leave that vital clue behind. Indeed, that was the key of in to indicting the professor for his crimes and the conclus conclusive evidence that convicted him. It enabled Lord Van Zeeks here to avenge his brother's senseless death with a marvelous victory in court. Marvelous victory, was it? I wonder if that's really true. What? Could the same be said if it turned out that a key piece of evidence in question was in fact fabricated? If the inspector, the coroner, and the prosecutor all colluded together to cast an innocent Japanese man as a mass murderer and send him to his death. That's outrageous! And now, ten years later, for some reason, the secret has been threatened and needs protecting. Which is why the inspector and the coroner had to be silenced, isn't it? By someone in power in Japan and in Britain, using the two killers recruited for the assassin exchange. And why would you ever hire Kazuma? Order? Order at once! Ten years ago, my father was convicted in this very courtroom as a mass murderer to be sentenced to death. But it was all a sham, and I swore to myself that I'd prove it. Which is why I had to come to Britain, whatever the cost. Whatever. You have to forgive me if I feel compelled to toast this vengeful Nipponese tenacity of purpose here. However... He who fails to quash his emotions in the courtroom has failed as a lawyer. Come on, Kazuma, you know this won't wash. You're claiming your father was misrepresented in a trial that took place a whole decade ago. You see, you must see that without evidence, there's nothing more than a wild accusation. As it happens, I have evidence. Then lead <laughs> with that! As the court has heard, I crossed the channel to France with Gregson on the 31st. I went with him on the pretext of being the assassin recruited to kill Seishiro Jigoku. But my true intentions were to make the inspector tell me the truth. What truth? But the, tr the truth about the evidence, and he acknowledged what I'd already deduced. There was a closely guarded secret about what went on in the autopsy ten years ago. What? A secret? I know nothing of any secret. Well, we waited for my supposed Jello, your mark. ice is loud. I'm not moving. In... Well, we waited for my supposed mark in Jigoku's cabin. I drew my clan's illustrious sword, Karuma, before the inspector's eyes. He very quickly understood what my true motive was. Right, I see. You're that Osagi's uh, young lad, are you? And what? You're gonna cut me down with that thing, is it that, 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 that? <laughs> <laughs> that will very much depend on the answers you give to my questions. I want to know what really happened ten years ago. The truth, that's all. Before we get into it, let me make one thing clear. I still believe your father was the professor. There's no doubt in my mind. But unfortunately, back then, we didn't have the evidence we needed to make the crime stick. So you admit it then? The evidence used in my father's trial was fabricated. I would yeah, love it. Yeah, but he it. still did it. I, yeah, I, I would love it if what actually happened is, like, Gregson is correct here. And they did fabricate this, like, and they colluded together to get this guy convicted, despite that being technically illegal. But he was the murderer. And then Kazuma has the moment of like, sorry, Kazuma, 
much like Ryanosuke, you have to face the truth of whatever actually happened. I think mm -hmm. that would be kind of neat. Mm -hmm. It was for the good of the country. Anyway, I was just following orders. Orders? What exactly did you do? Speak! I'm not saying another word. Even if your life depends on it? That's right. Even then. Attempted murder, Cosma. Ha ha ha. So that's when the tip of the sword broke. Oh, Cosma, sama what the fuck? Is that your evidence? That's it? That's what he's... That's your evidence? Is he said that? Oh my that's, fucking that's god. your evidence? Well, before he died... Inspector Gregson told me he was a unicorn, and that he could fly. And that's my oh evidence. My God. That he's still alive as a ghost. Do you see what you sound like? <laughs> no, go on. Is that real? No. <laughs> oh. If the results of Clint Venzig's autopsy were fabricated, then the investigating officer Gregson and the lead coroner Wilson must have known about it. And they can only have been ordered to prevent the course of justice in that way by one man. <laughs> Berg von Zeeks. What? Why would... What do you mean? He was a... Gr he... It was his first case! How would he have he was... any pull? That's insane. He had in to other... beg to get into that courtroom at all! In other words, the defendant did have cause to organize his exchange of assassins. I know. Exactly. And as was established earlier, it had to have been the Reaper himself no. who liaised with Jigoku in Japan to arrange the exchange. That yeah. literally nothing points to that specifically. So it follows that the Reaper's true identity it does not follow. It can only be that of the man who stands accused in the court. No, how? That is an insane leap of logic. Don't stop it. Stop flash screening around like he's done Objection. anything of consequence. Objection. Kazuma Asugi. What? What you've just told the court. Are you absolutely certain of your facts? So what he's doing here is he's just trying to get Van Zeeks to get mad and say something he's not supposed to because it's the idea that Van Zeeks didn't provide a perfect uh, prosecution there. I guess. Did Gregson really fabricate evidence for that trial ten years ago? I heard it with my own ears. His shameful admission. In that case... I know. The name of the Reaper. Wh what Lord Van Zeeks. I gave no such orders. I know that for certain. Which narrows down the remaining possibilities to one. Oh, because guess who was supposed to yeah. prosecute that case? If Lord Van Zeeks ah. isn't the one behind all of this. Then this yes. is still a crazy way to get to this. No, this is very stupid. There is only one other person who could have done something like that. I believe I know who it is, too. You? Yes, it's me, Kazuma. You got me. I just had a feeling his name was going to come up. Strongheart's just staring at his phone like... <laughs> Lame. Boo. The only uh, person who could have arranged the assassin exchange and manipulated the autopsy results is the Chief Lord Justice himself, Strongy. What? Strongy? You don't get to call me that! Ah! Shoots him! <laughs> well, yeah. I suppose the Reaper really was the one who slayed. <laughs> Man, really? It's insane, because really all strong so Strongheart putting Asugi here is ludicrous because it like gets him in trouble. And the fact that he didn't just adjourn court immediately after, because he had the power to do so, is madness. Really? You would accuse me on my birthday. Perhaps yes. I should be named Male Heavyheart because this hurts Ryu. Oh. I'm sorry, Strongy. 
We'll work through this together. Yes, it's mm. true that ten years ago the defendant handled the prosecution of the professor in court. But he only took- also, Professor is definitely Iris's dad, by the way, now. It's like, no chance that's not what happened. But he- and it's gonna be like, what? No, the truth! Fuck, I, Cosima, I'm so sad! And then they'll be like, but don't worry, you got a new family member and it's Iris, you crazy idiot! Mm. Um, <laughs> but he only took o uh, over the case after his brother, Lord Clint Van Zeeks. His brother had been clinted. I can only assume that this is the most inappropriate joke in British judicial history. Well, Lord Van Zeeks? Ten years ago, I was very new to my profession. But I had a burning desire to avenge my brother's death, so I pleaded for control of the case. It's just... The investigation to that point, the supplication of the Lords to allow my brother's corpse to be examined, all the evidence I was given, the autopsy reports, it all came from you. No spoilers in chat. No spoilers in chat, please. I've spent my life since then believing I was in your debt for the way you stood aside and let me handle this trial. Stop rewriting Miles Edgeworth. Mm. But I see now. I was very much mistaken. It was a hugely influential force that caused the inspector and coroner to break the law ten years ago. And that same force was still felt a decade later on the other side of the world by Seishiro Jigoku. It's also very dumb that he was like, oh, they're going to kill me after 10 years and I've been completely fine. And also other victims have gotten away scot-free, including one who literally like came back like a week ago. Mm -hmm. Lord Strongheart, everything falls into place when we recognize that you are the Reapy of the Bailer. What? Sorry. No, no, I, I was... That was a phone. The court awaits your response, my lord. This may very well go down in British judicial history, but I assure you, it is no joke. Consider this a formal accusal by the defense. It doesn't warrant response. A formal accusal? Don't be absurd. The defense's claims are utter nonsense, a wild fantasy at best. I mean, I know we're building these claims off of what Kazuma said, but other than that, you're not going to defend yourself? <laughs> this is the equivalent of a bunch of people just, like, shooting one guy. They're all just surrounding him and shooting him one after the other. He's like, well, it didn't even hit me. Come on. <laughs> like, nothing's happening. It doesn't even hurt. He's just, like, bleeding the fuck out. <laughs> you claim there was some wrongdoing with Lord Clint Van Zeke's autopsy? That's utterly Objection. untrue. I had evidence. I presented the evidence. Like, and where is your evidence? <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> what? Hey, Gregson's dead now. Yeah. Strongheart, why didn't you end the trial earlier? That's what I mean. I, like, like it's I know, madness. it just gets dumber and dumber. <laughs> Gregson's dead now. Unless you were thinking of summoning a ghost to the stand. Ooh, Marissa Lenti is Next now playing VR here. chat. Have fun. Mean to say, I don't have evidence. I forget how the system works in your little backwater country, but in the courts of the British Empire, without evidence, there is no case. Ooh. I have no intention of entertaining some wild fantasy that can possibly be substantiated by anyone or anything. He's right, though. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. he's totally right. <laughs> I, I feel I mean, the backwater comment is bad, obviously, but like everything else, he's right about. I feel bad for thinking this, but like, if e even if this literally was like a conspiracy set up by Strongheart to kill a bunch of specific nobles, who were, a lot of whom were probably crime lords, and then like just happened to like, yeah, they ruin the life of one guy and kill him, and that's very shitty, but like. I don't know. I feel like Strongheart's policies are kind of a greater good sort of thing. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. 
Following Inspector Gregson's murder and in the light of Dr. Wilson's death as well, there's really no one left who could testify about the events of 10 years ago, is there? So that was the real purpose of the assassin exchange. Hmm. This court has no business raking over the coals of a case that was concluded a decade ago. That is also true. The accusal brought by the prosecution and the defense is categorically denied. I take it there are no objections? Cosmo. He's more or less waited his whole life for this moment. And he fucked it up. He's fucking it up. Yeah, he's doing an awful job. Is there which but but he said is literally his best defense. Like, this is so like honestly, this game would be salvaged if they just made Strongheart not be a part of this. Like, fuck man. It's funnier. This is so dumb. Is there really nothing we can do now? Is there no other avenue we can go down in pursuit of the truth about what happened all those years ago? If only there was someone who could testify. I mean, there, there's Dr. Gory, right? Oh, no. Yeah, right, right, right. Never mind. Mikotoba. Yeah, it's Mikotoba. You're right. He's gone to extraordinary lengths to cover his tracks, even so far as dispatching an assassin all the way to Japan to ensure Dr. Wilson's silence. And Dr. Scythe won't say anything against Strongheart. Why not? But there's still one ray of hope. Objection. Actually, there is one person. One person who could still testify about that autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. There's no one left. Ooh, Ryunosuke. Who? Tell me! I don't know if I want to, man. You're kind of rabid right now, Kazuma. I. Please! This trial can't end! Not yet! Alright, sure. dial it back. I'm not doing this for you, you idiot. I'm doing it for the truth. Yeah! See, I... I, I don't think... I don't think the professor actually did the Moitas, but like... Or Kazuma's dad, at least. Um, But like, wouldn't that be thematically an interesting conclusion to all this? It's just like, yeah, yeah sometimes... Yeah, just, yeah, sometimes mm. the truth is bad. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take that! Papa, kill! Cause it would have been <laughs> neat if- Heaven it, help us! Another Japanese! Another Japanese! Oh my god. Like, are you serious? An expert in forensic medicine, my lord. Professor Eugene Mikotoba. Sixteen years ago, he came to London with Seishiro Jigoku and Genshin Asagi as a visiting student. And what could his testimony possibly tell us? Professor Mikotoba was the primary assistant during the autopsy in question. He was also the person who actually penned the report. Incorrect. The autopsy was carried out by the coroner, Dr. Wilson. The report carries his signature. It was the primary assistant's duty to keep a written record of the coroner's work during the procedure. In actual fact, the coroner merely read over the report at the end and signed it. In other words, Professor Mikotoba witnessed the entire autopsy from start to finish. The defense demands that Professor Mikotoba be summoned as a witness as a matter of urgency. Whatever really happened in that autopsy laboratory ten years ago is something only he can tell us. No. <laughs> the defense's demand is denied. I hate that I'm kind of rooting for Strongheart. <laughs> it's like, no. But Professor Mikotoba is in London at this very moment. We could summon him to the stand in minutes. No, of course he's not Why going to- Why would he let you do that? Of course he's not going to agree to it. Strongheart has no intention of summoning anyone who knows. He's too concerned about protecting himself. Prosecutor Osagi, let me refresh your memory, as you seem to have forgotten the prosecution's stance. Only minutes ago, you accused the defendant of being the Reaper and of masterminding, masterminding the Assassin Exchange. I, I, did. I did, yes. Well, I Sorry, I'm eating, I'm eating icing. So, present icing? your evidence no, not from you my too. cupcakes? No! So, present your evidence for those claims and make your case complete. I don't have any. <laughs> Don't confuse me with Kazuma, he just stole my voice. Sorry. <laughs> I, 
I'm not confusing it with Cosma. I was worried that in real life you'd picked up Siv's bad old habit of just eating ice cream or icing. No, no. We had cinnamon rolls and there's some oh, icing okay. left on the little pan and I am eating it. I am sorry I... Yeah, to have falsely accused you. How is that any oh, different? Because it's the icing was part of a food that Yam was finishing, and not just a tub of icing. At this time, I don't have the requisite evidence, but that's exactly why we need witness testimony. The Professor case is close. There are no clues in the distant past that will bolster your argument today. I'm afraid to say, Prosecutor Osagi, that you would appear to be possessed by the spirit of your late homicidal father. He really is, though. Now, as I stated earlier, this court has already reached a conclusion with respect to the matter at hand. I mean, you're the one who let it keep going for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I, this is stupid. Inspector Gregson was murdered by Japanese Supreme Court Judge Seishiro Jigoku. As for any hidden circumstances that may exist, they will be investigated in due course by the proper Objection. authorities. Objection. But we all know what will happen. That's just, that'll just give the mastermind of this whole venture time to cover his tracks again. By which you mean me. Strongy. Your punishment for, <laughs> your punishment <laughs> for this contemptible behavior will be decided at a later date. As for you, Prosecutor Asagi, you will be rem remanded following these proceedings. Willingly, I trust, since you gave your word. This futile game of revenge is over, young Master Osagi. Oh, darn. Well, then you shouldn't have fucked up every single step of this. You suck, Kazuma. Three players! Gwarg. That will be all. I. Oh Probably. my god! I don't know, Sholmes. Yeah. I shot myself! <laughs> He's <How> dying! You... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sholmes! This is no place for amateur detection, Mr. Holmes. May I remind oh. you that these proceedings Mr. Are... Holmes? Who? Did I? Oh. Yeah. I know his true identity. We all know. May I remind you that these proceedings are closed to the general public? You will leave the courtroom at once. Mr. Sholmes was instrumental in the apprehension of Seishiro Jigoku before he fled from Europe. The court should hear what he has to say. All right. Whatever. I am standing here. Lord Mill Strongheart. Or should I say father? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Don't, 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 don't <laughs> think about that. It's imperative that you refrain from bringing this trial to an end at this stage. <laughs> Is it really? And why would that be? Because I know I should have done it 20 minutes ago. You need only recall your own words from the opening of the trial to answer that question, if I may. Wait, wait have you been listening illegally the whole time? Mm, we will stop at nothing to uncover the whole truth behind these disturbing findings. Surely it can't be. That the shock of being accused of being the Reaper yourself has erased that from your memory, can it? The whole truth, sir, has already been uncovered! It would seem that we have a great many important members of the judiciary present here today. I put it to you, my dear fellows. Should the trial end at this juncture? Yes! Wait, no, hang yeah. on. <laughs> I want to go home! After all, why have you been invited to attend? To nod along at the prevarications of your superiors? What's that hand? <laughs> <laughs> Order! Order in the court! It seems to me that we stand before a door that leads to a new era of legal practices. A door that is ajar. Let us emerge from the shadows of the Reaper's decade-long ascendancy. For you and you alone, my dear fellows, have the power to push this door open now. The auditors in the gallery have no rights to express an opinion on court proceedings! Silence! 
He's right. Judge has absolute authority here. Yes, if he calls the trial to an end, it must end. What will that really do? I sense dark things behind the scenes. Dark things indeed. Is there a single person here present who could honestly say something like that? What? Oh, fucking keep it going! Oh, I got these cupcakes, that's so good! Oh, I get it. It's it's like a metaphor because there was no jury, but they're the jury. I like, okay, I like that. I guess. Toast to my dependable colleagues in the gallery. Honestly, I'd lose my mind if Strongheart were just like, I mean, I still have the legal right to do this. Court is adjourned. <laughs> and he just hmm. leaves. Like, he can. Well, my lord. You hear the voice of British justice, I take it? Yes. I do. They're, they're chanting. End it now. End it now. I'm on yeah. it. I'm over. It's adjourned. I think you'll find it would be rather awkward to silence. On my birthday. The court will recess briefly. I have no intention of shrinking from these allegations. You try to cancel me on Twitter. Bailiff, arrange for the subpoena of the witness at once and kill him. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, do it. As soon as the gentleman arrives at the courthouse, we shall reconvene. Can you imagine if now, even now, Lord Strongheart wasn't the Reaper? <laughs> just, I, I think that'd be awesome. Just I putting it out there. <laughs> Recess won't be necessary, my lord. Uh, Mikotoba is a close friend of mine. He accompanied me today and is waiting at the antechamber as we speak. I do believe he's been enjoying a little trip down memory lane. In fact... What? Professor Mikotoba is here in the courthouse? Yeah, you might be know that he was here in town if you ever fucking talk to us, you bitch. <laughs> Mr. Sholmes, you you knew this would happen, didn't you? My dear fellow, no one is in a better position to answer that question than you, Shirley. I wasn't just asking for the fun of it, you know. Well, I must thank you for your assistance in this matter, Mr. Sholmes. <laughs> However, you are no you are of no further use here. Kindly leave the courtroom at once. Of course. In truth, I find myself rather busy now as a result of these developments. Mr. Narahodo? Uh, yes? I trust you have Iris's little lucky charm with you. Oh, that's I actually... I trust you're able to cheat. <laughs> that's actually a very funny way he's been able to listen in on the court proceedings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. It's still in my pocket. She sends her regards, and a reminder, if you find yourself at a dead end, the ears are at your disposal. Spot if my, you, please. If my uh, current um, um, Dizek's Machina didn't help you, maybe a second one will. Uh, of course. In that case, the trial will continue without delay. Bailiff, show the witness to the stand. I'm lost. Where's the stand? <coughs> Where? Oh, fuck! Oh, no. oh, no, no, no. So it's Lord Strongheart. He's the Reaper of the Bailey. Where exactly yeah. is this trial going to take me, I wonder? Just how deep am I about to be plunged into the blackness of the abyss? Tim Curry! Well, I'm ready. I'm ready to head into the heart of this male. Shut the fuck up! And confront whatever horrors it tries to drown me under. Alright, we're gonna stop for there today and Yay. finish next week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> I... It's dumb. But what if Mayor I think... Strongheart was the good so, guy? <laughs> so overall, these are definitely better than the investigation games. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, But, man, this really shits its pants at the end. I... I think a lot of individual elements of this are really interesting. But I think this duology suffers a lot by squeezing things in ways they shouldn't have been squoze for the sake of setting <laughs> up this conspiracy 
and well, characters frequently like doing things that make no sense like over over the entire like timeline of this game's events and uh, apparently they were vying for a third game so it kind of makes sense that they would want to just cram as much of this nah, in here as they could that's not a I good mean, enough excuse this game does not have a cram problem yeah it's like i can understand that like maybe the initial plan was to spread it out longer but like that's not my in fact my problem is actually how much they spread things out when characters should just mm. be talking to each other it's one of the yeah. dumbest things that pisses me off the most can you imagine how worse this would be if there was a third game mm. yeah that'd be rough especially if they came to the same conclusion that strongheart is just the bad guy like i don't know I, I, I'm I still on board with the idea that they they could have gone with that the professor was indeed straight up a murderer. They just didn't have the evidence for it. And yeah, it's definitely dubious and bad that they fabricated evidence. But like, if you knew and you had no other way to do it. Yeah, I'd, like, be, I'd be curious to see them do a game where that is the conclusion, especially because... Uh, Shuchikumi's done other games where it's like, hey, falsifying evidence is bad. Here's the people who suffer from it. I think it'd be neat if he revisited that and was like, falsifying evidence is objectively bad, of course, and it really ruins, like, it killed this guy and it ruined his son's life and this is what he looks like. But also, you know, it convicted a killer and a lot of good things happened because of that. Uh, forensic science started getting adopted. It, like, had this mostly positive domino effect. I think that would be really cool. I think there's about a 3% chance of that being the conclusion of this game, and I'm setting myself yeah. up for failure. But, um, yeah. Ah. Yeah, Some, someone in chat was like, why is it so bad that Strongheart is the villain? Because one, it's like, we knew immediately that he would be one, the bad like, guy. One, it's like, yeah, but, of course he's the villain. <laughs> but as it went on, like everything he's talking about and doing, you're like, yeah, that's all good. You've done strictly beneficial things for the country and how uh, this operation works. And then there's suddenly, in the, at, the, at the finish line, you're actually a murderous psychopath because you're like doing these back deal, back door well, shady the deals. Thing. Like, that's the thing, even if he is the Reaper, the Reaper only kills people who are guilty but bribed the courts to get an innocent. Mm -hmm. and, and every time so. we've interacted with Strongheart, He's more forthcoming than even like Shomes and both Mika Tobas have been with yeah. us. He's like, yeah, you can come back to the court. I don't mind that. And he's just like, sure. That and like when we when we convicted um the the coroner, he was like, yeah. Like he didn't fight back on that. He didn't give a shit for it. But then like like anything, everything involving Kazuma being in this court at all is absurd. Like yeah, it, it doesn't make sense that Strongheart would have put him there. It makes no sense that after the first day of proceedings, they would have kept him as the prosecutor. Uh, it's crazy that he let the case keep going, like continue onwards. Because you'd think that, like, I could see it if Strongheart was like, I would like to get Van Zeke's blame for this and then I'm off the hook forever. Or I'll have Kazuma take the fall as the assassin and then that will be fine forever. But like, he's not locking into either of those things. He's like, yeah. Van Zeeks is innocent. I believe that. Fair trial. And he's right to do so. Let me end it. And then, like, then Kazuma's like, I have no evidence, but I'm angry. And for some reason, he was like, yeah, go off, I guess. Yeah, it's it's dumb. And it, like, oh, man, it's it's so weird to say that, like, while the death, quotation marks, was stupid in the first game for Kazuma, he should have just been dead. I still props to Siv for predicting that, but I um I, I haven't mentioned this. I'm actually very disappointed that Gregson is a part of this assassin network. I think it's very weird. Uh yeah. It, yeah. And I don't like it that he and Asashin are like part of the same pretty like apparently very small group of like, here's the assassin, and then Gregson plans things out. And it's like but Gregson's, like, the Gregson we've interacted with is not very good at, like, planning things or investigating crime scenes. And, like, some of that can be explained by the fact that, like, maybe he wasn't investigating some of those scenes. He had Boone do that for him. But, like, I don't know. I just, he literally doesn't give competent enough 
vibes, if that mm-hmm. makes sense. And then mm-hmm. yeah. Asashin is I like mean, so cartoonishly evil. I, I don't know, whatever. Go on. They did explicitly uh, say that Boone never did do any official police work. He just sort of Stood walked around. around saying like, I'm Gregson and I'm here at a place. And like, he maybe talked to people, but he never did official investigations or official interviews. It's also like, if I can also point this out, fucking unbelievable that he could get away with that for years, like yeah. what, like six years. As Gregson, the guy every other cop knows and was sad yeah. over his death. Like, never once at a crime scene did someone walk up and be like, Hey, buddy, uh, you're investigating? Yes, I am Inspector Gregson. No, you're not. Like, that never happened. I don't know. It's just... He, he didn't He didn't go to any investigations. But, like, he saying. never ran into a cop for six years. Yeah, that's stupid. That's stupid. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah, well, it's also weird. Like, even even if we ignore the fact that he didn't run into any cops, like the the big reason for uh, Hugh Boone to be um, Gregson, you know, out in the public was so that he had alibis, meaning people were interacting with him and could confirm, yes, Gregson was there. Mm-hmm. That doesn't hang, that, point, that doesn't hold up even a little bit. Yeah. No, because if Gregson's so well known in the city, especially because of the Sholm stories. How the fuck would no one know what he looks like and not be like, wait a minute, you don't yeah, match this description at all. It's just strange. Like, it's just such a weird thing to give Gregson because, like, not like I'm always here for like, yeah, the cop was one of the bad guys. Shocker. But um, like his relationship with Iris is so strange. And it's like, oh, yeah, I love that Iris gives me all this free publicity. That's awesome. So I'm always very nice to her because she's a little baby. And, like, that helped skyrocket me to the top of Scotland Yard. And it's like, okay, cool. So, like, are you actually a good cop? Was it just these stories? Because, like, I I don't know. I just, I feel like, I feel like Gregson's got, like, one element missing. Like, he either needed to be more, not maybe not, like, shifty, but, like, a little more a character I would believe being part of an assassination ring. And like, mm-hmm. literally, if it if it were just him being like, hey, I'm a part of this, I occasionally will like help fabricate evidence or move someone from point A to point B. It's all for the crown or whatever. That I could buy. But then being like, Gra- Gregson was the mastermind. He would plan victims' movements. It's like, what are you talking about? That's, it's very strange because he's not a good investigator. <laughs> Yeah, it it feels like they they wrote the um like oh there's four names on this little disc or whatever, and then they realize they're like oh what are we doing with those names? Like they just they they hadn't realized what their significance was yet. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's it's bizarre. It it feels like they should have just maybe even avoided having this grand conspiracy or not have it go between two games. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's weird because like yes, the people that are doing bad things are doing the wrong things. Like that's not up for debate. Like they are. They're fabricating evidence. They're getting people killed. That's all true. However, when you see that what the bad guys' intentions are actually good and they're working it's 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 an interesting gray area where you're like you shouldn't have done that but it's hard to argue your results because they are there it's it's a strange problem uh since this is a video game you are subconsciously while playing it kind of predisposed to like characters who give you information and don't rub like like we Obviously, we're ready to be on board with the coroner's daughter because she looks the way she does. But then she's just like, here's all the information you want with no obstacles. So you're like, yeah, I like characters like that in Ace Attorney. And it's very strange because all of the obfuscation, it like all in service of this grand conspiracy and like keep it segmented out in bullet points. All of it is because characters I otherwise like quite a lot, like Suzato and Ryanosuke are just like, I will not ask any questions or follow up on anything. And then other characters are like, I won't tell anyone anything for no reason, Lamau. And it's like, why are the good guys the ones who refuse to reveal information to people they clearly should be trusting at this point? And yeah. uh, meanwhile, 
the the people who are supposed to be bad guys like Gregson and uh, and like I know obviously we're supposed to root for Gregson because we we're not supposed to know he's a bad guy for a while but like Gregson and um and Strongheart they're like surprisingly helpful it's very strange <laughs> I don't know also yeah it is that Ace Attorney thing where it's like oh. I wonder who the killer, like, the bad guy is going to be. And some of the game, I had hope. They're different writers, but, like, I was just telling Yam about all of the Ace Attorney games as quick as I could for funsies the other night. But there's there's a, I'm clearly the bad guy character in another Ace Attorney game. And, like, the main antagonist final boss bad guy. And then they're not the final boss. And it's like, oh, that's fun. And that adds intrigue instead of just, like, yeah. Obviously, it's you. Look at your character design. <laughs> yeah, it it would be so cool if Strongheart legitimately wasn't the big bad, and there was some other person pulling the strings. I I don't think this would have made more sense. Mind, I would have found it more interesting if it was Holmes for some reason. I don't mm. even know why. I don't think that mm. would have been good, but I certainly would have found it more interesting. And obviously, I think the it might be it. a more acceptable twist on the no, it was Mr. Detective. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, obviously, there is also the thing of now that we have this new information that's been dropped that um, Strongheart is a racist. Like, he just is, <laughs> suddenly. Um, like, so with with this new knowledge, yeah there's a very good chance that they would abuse this power in another way. But the problem is, up to this point, it has been used in, like, again, morally gray and arguably bad, but positive results for the country. So it's, it's like, ah, there's something interesting there, but it's, it's like, fucked. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it massive points if we do get the ending where it's like, yeah, Genshin Asuka killed a bunch of guys. Maybe even he was a good dude. And Strongheart was like, I'm going to contract you to murder some people for me. You'll be my first assassin. So, like, you'll be the original Reaper before the Reaper is even a thing. And then mm -hmm. he kills a bunch of these guys. And he's like, if you ever tell him, like, like maybe he's coercing him. It's like, hey, I know you've got that kid back in Japan. I'll, I'll send my guys to get him if you don't do what I say. Or... Hey, possibly I don't I don't want this, but possibly if you just had another daughter named Iris, I could squish her like a little baby since she's one year old. Um, the t timeline doesn't check out on that, but still. Mm. Um, but like something like that, I don't know. I'd I'd be more interested in a story about like yeah, they're doing fucked up things and the results are not all negative, and it's just like that's how it be, and the law is built on blood. That would be cool. Um, yeah, and, I, and someone in chat is like, "Is realistic that Strongheart was racist because like his position of power in Britain?" Like that is true, but isn't it more interesting of the possibility that he was like genuinely a good dude who was trying to make the country better? Like, wouldn't like? I don't know. To me, that would be way more interesting that this guy who appears as evil is like, no, actually, he's a good dude and through and through. Yeah, I um. This is kind of similar in a lot of ways to the Leighton game, which Siv and I played a little over a year ago, I think, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where it's like a lot of the individual cast are really good and a lot yeah. of the individual cases are really good. And then like when you learn a lot of the stuff, it's like you Shu Takumi clearly wrote this scenario and it was like, here are the bullet points I want things to happen. And he managed to like find good way. In this game, he like, managed to get about 50% of them on point where it's like, yeah, makes sense that would have happened due to these circumstances. A lot of them, it's just like, oh, uh, I needed to turn to Strongheart at this point. The trial is over. I have something to say. This could be funny. Let's see what it is. And it just continues. Very silly, very lazy. Uh, and then in the Leighton game, I'd say maybe like 5% of the things that were set up were executed well. Because when you learn what the actual shit going on in the Leighton game is, you just look back at everything. It's just like, why did they do that? Why did they do that? Why did that character do that? Did they only do it for the sake of this narrative? Obviously, yes. And it's like, man, that Leighton game... I, it, it would take like five hours to just go through the script and be like, no, no, here's a problem. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. 
Let's see, is anyone else streaming? Uh, code, code vein. Oh, go get him. Go get him. Do we give it to Aloha or Piff? You can give it to, to a little old Piff. Okay. Yeah. Piff. Popagaya. Green Piff. Do, 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 do. Shoot someone. Shu Takumi is an amazing detective AI that's slowly learning how to write a mystery. Honestly, I think he's gotten worse over the years. Like, he wrote the... The OG trilogy and Ghost Trick like 20 years ago, and I kind of like those more. <laughs> anyway, bye. 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 Turn off my.